What's up, everybody? How's it going? And welcome to the live stream. Hey. Everyone is here. What's up? People arrivers are something like a cult following themselves just chained one after the other chat with a community who is not cultish in nature I don't know latch on to a single emote or nay even a single letter and just spam type it one after the other like say ya yeah, yeah, yo or the letter E hmm I don't think I've ever seen any kind of behavior like that, so I'm not worried. It's probably fine. 
Psycho Streamer never stops streaming live reaction. I don't know what day this is, but uh, yes, there have been a lot of streams. And this is one of them. We've gotten... Uh, <clears throat> I've lost count at this point. I want to say it's like uh, 10, 10 streams out of 11 days, somewhere around there. Lamb Cult stream is go today, along with the rest of uh, Twitch. Uh, the Cult of Lamb doesn't actually come out tomorrow, but today's the day that the embargo lifted to play the full version of the game. So that's why everybody's playing it right now, including me. So excited to watch you play this. Hey, Metal Beak. What's up, Zero Rig? Everybody else? Stream Mom killed the real italics and replaced him with a robot. <laughs> Apparently she didn't think I uh, worked enough. Had to replace me with an android. That makes sense. But anyways, yeah, we're playing the full version of uh, Cult of Lamb today. And not the limited, more limited preview build. So, this, this one's the, the big one. This game's been addicting to watch. I imagine it's going to be addicting to play. I hope so, because uh, Chad kind of turned me onto this game uh, a few weeks ago. I didn't really wasn't really on the radar until a few people in chat were like, "Hey, this looks like it's made for you. It's made for us." I was like, "What? I don't know what you're talking about." So I looked it up, and here we are. Luckily, I was able to get my hands on a preview build for today. I don't know why you're able to spin channel points already. That shouldn't be possible. I'm not even in a game yet. Also, whose idea was it to only make it 500 channel points? I need to bleed you all dry! Make it 5,000 base, and then we're talking. We need to 10 times that. Okay, let me, let me handle my allergy business, and then we'll get started. should be better. What are you guys saying? Thanks for the beginning of stream subs, by the way. Welcome Random Backwards, who says, Howdy. Thanks for the 14 months, Random Backwards. Howdy yourself. Welcome to the beginning of stream. You guys are nice and early. Those of you who are here at the beginning of stream, pat yourselves in the back, okay? Because you are the backbone of any streamer's stream. Imagine if notifications didn't go out for a stream for 30 minutes and all these streamers just had to sit around and wonder why everything was just completely silent. I'm, I'm looking at chat, but I'm seeing nothing because chat's nothing without you. Because you're chat. No, I'm not trying to be romantic or like, you know, insightful. It's just you're, li you're literally the chat. So if you weren't there, then there isn't one. I am trash. There you go. But no, it's always exciting. Like um, people are doing the getting ready, like going live, starting soon screens and seeing the wave of people arrivers or people memeing, whatever it is you're memeing and typing into the void. It's very brave to come up with something, even if it's just an, even if it's just an alien please emote, and then send it into the void and let it 
exist. Sometimes you might start a little wave yourself. I am trash times a thousand. It's an ancient meme. But uh, thanks as, as well to Zero Rig for 45 months of sub. Appreciate the Prime Zero Rig. 66 Ayrton says, did I hear Colt? You did. And people are going to ask, hey, what is this game? I don't actually know. That's true. I know it looks extremely cute and evil at the same time. And I was told that chat members get to be in the cult on screen with Twitch integration. And that I can sacrifice you if I need to. And that's all I needed to know in order to play. Those are the only little sort of information tidbits that were required. I don't know how you're chosen. I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of like random selection process. I have to like hook that up once we get into a game. But I do know that it is a mishmash of dungeon crawlers and roguelikes with some kind of overworld base building or cult faculties facilities being made so we'll see i really don't know much about it i don't even know what the moment to moment gameplay is so we're gonna find out sort of together i have tried to watch as little as possible though uh there have been previews going up for like the last week already so you, you might actually know more than i do if you've been watching a bunch No Berserkers is greeting streamer. I saw your candy tier list in a VOD and wanted to let you know <laughs> I disagree with your F tier ranking of Haribo Gold Bears. Best regards, viewer. Thanks for 17 months. <laughs> it's true. I did rank gummy bears in F tier. That's just my personal attribution and judgment. I think uh, they do have a place when you really want to chew something, but just compared to all the other candies, I would have rather had those candies first. Here's what's nice about, like, regular Haribo gummy, gummy bears. Here's what's nice about them. They're not good enough that you want to eat more than, like, five at a time. So if portions are an issue, then, yeah, it's that's a good, like, sweet snack because you'll be like, one, two, three, four, and your mouth is tired from chewing so hard that you stop eating them, and you can eat tiny portions. So, yeah, that makes sense. Hey there, Tox. Howdy, Sim. Welcome to beginning a stream. We're just chatting, getting ready to uh, check out a new game. But hope you're doing well, dude. I've been able... We've gotten to catch you playing some Pokemon recently. But I haven't seen you in the last couple days. I think I stopped streaming before you started. But I hope the stream's been going well. And uh, how's the Pokemon runs going? Depends on the brand of gummy bears. Sure, it's highly variable, yes. You're right. Uh, I'm Fire says, hello, parasocial host. I'm ready to partake in cult-related activities. Uh, Chad, you guys were born to partake in cult-related activities. Twitch chat is already a hive mind, so they probably made this game with you in mind. Your shoe in. Thanks for 50 months, Fire. Appreciate one more. Ballistic Bros says, yo, Lamb Chops stream. Lamb Chops sing along. Responsible for eternally inscribing the song that never ends into my brain it occasionally does still come up and i get stuck in my head and then i start singing it because you can sing it in so many different ways but this actually does kind of look like lamp chop yeah it just goes on and on it never ends sim says finally beat misty the game's opening up a bit now the team feels strong so, are you playing with the self-imposed restrictions version of the game, or are you playing like a like a vanilla playthrough? Or um, I'm not sure what the special rule set is. 
One day I do want to play, I don't know if, po chat, does Pokemon emulators have randomizers? Because that would be interesting at least. I want to do randomizer for something, eventually. But I don't know what. Somebody started singing it, not knowing what it was. Yeah, they didn't know what it was. It just snuck up on them. But I'm glad you're having fun with it. I'm doing Simlock because Iron Man Kaizo was too easy. Mm. <laughs> I, I know what uh, Iron Mon, I, I can understand what Iron Mon is, but Kaizo, I'm not sure what that is. Iron Mon sounds like when a Pokemon faints, they stay dead forever. I'm not sure if Simlock is a real thing or if that's what Simcopter named his specific variation of rules. Kaizo is for when you want to hurt yourself digitally. I see. Like, I, I think that they made the rules up for that brand of Pokemon and named it after Sim because he was so ahead of the curve. Just one-shotting Ironmon Kaizo runs in Pokemon. Ironmon is you have one Pokemon forever, win with them, and never lose. Okay, that, that does sound crazy. Apparently Nuzlocke is actually named after John Locke from Lost? Nuzlocke runs. Don't tell me what I can't do! Is that, is that like the motto? You just do whatever you want. That's pretty cool. I just saw the Dyson fan in the background. Crazy those things work at all. Over-engineered. Science garbage. Midas got nervous. He did not get nervous. He's still under his blankie. He's just falling out of the bed. He's sleepy. I was watching a six-hour video essay about Lost. That sounds like something I would want to watch. I just want to watch Lost again, yeah. It's been a long time. It's one of my favorite TV shows. The name of the challenge originates from the comic series of the same name, which features a Nuzleaf resembling Lost character John Locke as a recurring gag. I have no idea how that came to be, but the internet will do what the internet does. Uh, Lord Dogman says, Etal, I never catch you live because of Europe, but your VODs are my background, BG. I'm assuming BG's background since three years ago. The VOD is my cult. Chat, what does the capital BG stand for, if not background? I just noticed how similar that is to Remother Pasta. That's how I was reading it, yes. Anyway, Lord Dogman. <laughs> Big guy. Uh, for you. Thanks for two months of sub, though. I apologize that you're watching all of these VODs and also probably getting a bunch of ads. So I hope you enjoy. There have been so many VODs this last few weeks um, that the pri that Prime sub is going to go very far if you're a VOD watcher this month. You're going to get a lot more value out of it. I'm gonna I'm gonna torment all the VOD watchers with more VODs, therefore more ads, until they all sub. That's my strategy. It's just too much content to possibly consume. You can't be burdened by a ad every ten minutes. It's too much. I wish I could, I actually do wish I could turn those off. Cause like 10, 10 minutes is ridiculous. By the way, speaking of ads, I was watching a YouTube video while I was eating lunch. I had a nice sandwich. If you must know, it was uh, some sourdough bread toasted in the toaster with uh, a slice of provolone cheese and some mesquite turkey and some black forest ham with a piece of lettuce, just the full leaf of lettuce and uh, sliced up into four little slices tomatoes with a few pickles. On one side of the bread, we have mayonnaise. On the other side of the bread, we have uh, mustard. It wasn't mustard. It was um, Dijon. Okay, this is a good sandwich. That was a that was a nine out of ten sandwich. 
Anyways, while I was eating, I was watching a YouTube video. And uh, it was a new Operations Room video. I love the Operations Room channel. And they, well, there was an ad halfway through the video, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. But when it came out the other side, I wanted to see what was like, um, I wasn't paying attention for like the 10 seconds after the ad. Cause you know how you tune out, you're like, okay, there's an ad. I should do something else with my brain. And then you come back and I missed the last 10 seconds. So I did a rewind, like I double tapped the screen on my phone. And instead of rewinding 10 seconds, it rewound 10 seconds and then showed me another mid-roll ad. I just watched an ad so I could watch the rest of the content, but apparently if you just rewind during the mid-roll, like right after the mid-roll ad, it'll just continuously show more mid-roll ads, which is a crime, I think. How does it not know that I just, like I watched the ads so that I could watch the rest uninterrupted? It doesn't, like it's a bookmark that says an ad should play that doesn't go away. It just stays. I, I, you caught me, YouTube. I rewound specifically so I could watch another ad. That's why. I missed the ad. I wanted to make sure that I caught it. That's why I rewound. Advertisers love him. Crime or found a way to give Italics infinite money? Well, see, it wasn't my YouTube channel, but if it was, uh, you guys could just set up a, a loop with a script that auto-plays if uh, the video plays for 10 seconds, then it'll reload the page and just watch another ad. And we'll set up crypto farm style, like computer farms that just get those YouTube ads. Infinite money glitch. Dude, I loved those ads. Okay, but did you grill it? The sandwich? No. Thank you for clarifying the sandwich type. You're welcome. I just wanted you to know that I ate a delicious sandwich. Anyways, check this out. I don't know where the camera is going to go for this game. Also, the game pauses whenever I alt tab. There we go. We'll start over here. Also, G Franco, thanks for 48 months or sub. That's four years. Appreciate the four years of sub. Um, so this is a preview copy of the game, obviously. That's why I'm playing it a day early. And it's got all the fancy stuff. All the premium DLCs. Apparently by simply watching this stream, you guys can get skins for the game. I think there's drops. Um, in the... In, just to just to toot my own horn and let and uh, use what is ostensibly a good deed for better public relations. I had the option to make it so that you can't change. <laughs> there was an option in the extension if you get a cultist in our game in this one to change your skin to like premium DLC skins for free or for money. So I left it at for free. But I am tempted to make it $10 a person. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know who's going to do that because it seems like um, there's so many people streaming this on Twitch that it's diabolical to be one of the people who's charging bits. Now, if they were smart, they would have done channel points because that would be legit. I, if I could charge you 10,000 channel points to change your skin in game, I absolutely would. And if I could charge you more bit, I mean, not bits. <laughs> Freudian slip. If I could charge you more bits, I would. <sighs> the truth comes out at last. If I could charge you more channel points to uh, do anything in this game, I would. Greedy, egotistical streamer. Thanks again, G. Franco, for so many months. It's up. Federath people arriving. Hi, Federath. Thanks for half a year. And Smilk, who is our newest Discord community manager, has also subbed for a 52nd month. By the way, Chad, if you're not in our Discord, highly recommend you jump in there, even if you just want to lurk and never talk. There is no welcome to the server, which some people don't like because it calls them 
out when they join. So you can do it incognito and never let anybody know that you're in my stinky Discord. And you'll get the benefit of reading what everybody else has to say and maybe voluntarily deciding to participate in some of the multiplayer games that the uh, Discord channel community managers are organizing if you want to meet some new people and uh, maybe make some new friends and play some optional multiplayer games. Recommend checking it out. I don't like being in large servers. I don't have a large... I have a, I have a very normal server. If Unless you consider large as in there is at least one new message every day. Usually more than that. I'm here to cult around. Would recommend joining just for the Care Bears channel. Very good pet picks. We have pet picks. We have food picks. We have multiplayer, we have annoying memes, and we get pings. Alright, we're going in, chat. One thing I did want to note about the settings. Difficulty? Nope. Doesn't exist. We just put the setting in so that you knew, the player, that you're getting whatever we serve you. My other favorite bit from this is... There was something else. Oh, I did like that they start music, sound effects, and voiceover at 75, so you can boost something, which I think is very nice. Um, oh, I like the roadmap. So they've got this Cult of the Lamb. The devs have this extremely detailed roadmap that kind of lets you know how they're going to be post-launch in terms of adding content to the game. And I'm really excited about the <clears throat> free update soon bit. That's really cool. And I'm looking forward to that in quarter question mark. We don't know. But this uh, that's like me doing my homework last second. I forgot about the 10 page essay that was due tomorrow. Put some filler text in there until later. Soon is my favorite time. Anyway, where was I? How did Yeager Monster just sub twice? That was two subs, but it was a one sub. Thanks for the sub, Yeager Meister. Closet also back for 14 months. Hi, Closet. Glad to have you. Lots of people popping in. And then Slight Inconvenience says, I got a new sub badge. <laughs> Did you, though? Did you, though? Oh, everyone, how much better does Slight Inconvenience's sub badge look? Praise the Lamb. Conduit to great power. Promise liberator. Yet sacrificial beasts take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. I'm very sad. I'm very alone. I also am playing this with a controller because the game recommends a controller. Very angry. I will not go that way. I'm sorry for exploring and listening to my typical gamer sense of going the wrong way first just to see what happens. Also, I will adjust the volume as necessary when it becomes clear if it's too loud. It might be a little bit loud right now. Kneel to be sacrificed. I'd rather not. Uh, we have the four deities, of course. Spider Blob. Uh, Quadra Toad. The Zipper Mouth. And a different, uglier spider. Before us stands the last of its kind. All others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies beyond, bound below, will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved!
Roll the credits. Come closer. Fear not, for though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is for you to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? <laughs> oh. Do you like cult stories, Miss Turner? Oh, you're in one. Yes, absolutely. Choices matter. <laughs> okay, we're jamming all of a sudden. I'll give you life again. All you have to do is start a cult for me. Wait, are you guys bad guys? Oh, shit. We're, we're already playing. I'm going on a spree! <laughs> Back with the vengeance! Okay. I'm just breaking everything. I'm chopping grass. I'm breaking boulders. So we have a path to follow. Okay, this looks pretty fun. That's what it took to convince you, Sim, was just like five minutes of gameplay. That's how you know you've got a very powerful art style and a very uh, snappy, crispy presentation. Because I'm already, I'm already on board too, yo. Fear not, I am Ratau. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue the, through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. Sure thing. The lamb is rocking out. I mean, the music is already on point, yes. I, you have to break everything because you don't know what might have secret treasure inside. And also, I'm in a cult. I can do whatever I want. So I'm assuming this is one of those, like, your character probably sucks. Like, this is the first run, quote-unquote. Uh, so I'm assuming we're supposed to die, just like get as far as you can with no power-ups, no abilities, and then the rest of the game opens up, I would assume. This is kind of like a shock you awake type thing. I have one coin to my name. What? <laughs> one currency for all manner of things. Am I a streamer? We got an inventory system. Very cool. Starting with just a Crusader's Blade. 1.1 damage. Is this roguelike? It is part roguelike, I, as I understand it. Um, a noble garb, fit for the leader of a cult, provides no bonuses. Okay. My cult, you have no followers. It's very sad. I can't believe my Twitch channel got deleted. Anyways, is there a command to explain what I do? For the Twitch integration, nothing has happened yet that you can do. I'll let you know when it does. Because I think I have to actually do something. Hang on. Let, let me do something real quick. I'm just gonna pause the game because I think a setting opens up. Open the pause menu. Make sure you have started a new game. I'm trying to just double check that, uh... Oh, yeah, I'm trying to make double check that I'm actually connected with Twitch. Hold on. 
Make sure the Twitch integration is working. Hooray! You've connected your game successfully. You may now close this window and return to the game. Okay. You should see your channel name in the Twitch button. I do. They just updated this on August 9th. That was yesterday. All right, it is now connected. This is us. Viewers can spend channel points which will fill up your Twitch totem bar. When the bar is full, you receive a reward. Help or hinder events happen automatically, allowing viewers to vote on giving you a bonus or punishing you. Allow viewers to enter a raffle to create your next follower. It will be designed by the viewer and display their name above them at all times. Okay, not yet. Not yet, but soon. Ace Tech, please. Rose Rain, thanks for the 14 months. Hi, Rose Rain. Appreciate the sub. Okay, those of you who just joined, we literally just started. Um, trying to get a handle on, like, dodge timings. Because basically, once you dodge, you can't insta-dodge. This is the fastest you can dodge. So I'm sure you get some good iframes. It also speeds you up. But you can't immediately dodge right after. There's like a cooldown. What did I pick up? Two coin. Okay. Nothing cool yet. We're not going to get anything cool yet. Is this a damage on touch type game or damage on attack only? We're gonna find out. One coin, please. Thank you. People are already telling me what to do in chat. Why are you guys contributing to the totem? I'm still in the tutorial. Game's not even out yet. Okay. Game hasn't even been released. Why do you hate your totem? I don't hate my totem. I love my totem. I just haven't met it yet. Like an unborn child or a puppy waiting to be adopted. I don't. I don't have it yet, but I already love it. I Midas. I already love. I already love you, Midas. Even though you're asleep and you don't even know I'm talking to you. I also have no idea what how much health I have. Okay. Um, just a person bowing. Which might be indicative of a follower being rescued, maybe? We have reached, nearly reached safety, but look ahead, another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. Oh, mighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul! Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? I do. Me. Okay, so they don't get staggered. They don't get staggered at all. Like these little nerds. These guys, you can push them back and bully them a little bit. But the tall ones, not so much. Who is this? <laughs> okay. Into the void with you. A follower awaits indoctrination. Oh, good. I'm happy that I was able to... Pluck one of you from chat. Saving you from a life of no content and eternal silence. Bringing you out of your pit of despair and into the stream proper.
Did we make it? We have reached safety. You have done well. The Red Crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distance. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. Okay, why don't you take the portal then? Why do I ha why am I the only one that takes the portal? Red and yellow. Plus 11 bucks. 5 minutes and 57 seconds with 36 kills. No damage bonus. Plus 50% on new items. Chad, did I get no hit or did I get hit? On two other rooms or something. Did I get a no hit bonus? Sick. I mean, I know it wasn't the most challenging tutorial dungeon, but still, I'll take it. Select the difficulty. Ooh. Recommended for casual players looking for a fun, accessible experience. Recommended for moderate players looking for well-rounded experience. Dev recommended. Looking for a challenge. Death wish. Okay, here's... I don't care what... What the devs recommend. Here's all I care about. What does every other streamer pick? I just need to be at least as good as them. Tell me what everyone else is picking. They pick hardcore. Hard or extra hard? Hard, I assume. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I have one disadvantage over the people who've been starting new games today. They have already been playing. Okay, here's an example. Northern Lion beat the game on extra hard today. Northern Lion has also been playing the preview build of this game and started a new game today, so he wasn't playing for the first time today when he started extra hard, okay? I know that already. So, that's fair, I was also lying. Oh. Okay, well, the point still remains. People have said it's too easy. Tomato played extra hard and felt it was still too easy. Hasn't Tomato- has Tomato not played this before? Too easy. Are you guys making this up? Are you guys all lying? Mostly seen hard. The combat's easy, but the cult manager gets annoying on harder difficulties. I don't mind- like, not to- uh... Roguelikes don't have to be an impossibly hard thing. Chat gaslighting Etel. Um, can you change the difficulty at any other point or just you have to start a new game? Because I do kind of want to just, if, if people are actually saying it's like ramping the difficulty up. Yes, no you can't. <laughs> it literally says so. Oh, it, no it does. See, I'm one of the people that doesn't read the assignment before starting it. It's literally written right there, yeah. Don't worry, you can change it. I'm just gonna start on extra hard then. Because that'll be more replayability. When we inevitably get soft locked and have to reset a new game. Okay, let's do extra hard. And then I will tell you if it's I'll give you my honest opinion on playing extra hard without having ever played even the demo of this before, okay? Where am I? Oh, we're down here. Starting on the highest difficulty is probably bad. This hallowed ground, which once was mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. I am now upset because Northern Lion restarted because it was too easy for him. He's also the Northern Lion. He's probably won Binding of Isaac on every single variation of every character of every difficulty of every challenge run. Okay? 
He can do anything that he wants to do. He is like, um... He is like the dad in Invincible. He just wants anything to challenge him. Only a fake gamer would lower the difficulty. <laughs> okay, anyways. Who's this gonna be? It's gonna be one of you. I am gonna have to manage you guys. Um, if I'm playing on very hard and the management is the the hardest part of the game, then we're gonna need some help from chat, okay? Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Okay. Follower raffle? Yes. Start a raffle for Twitch. Participants? Zero. I don't know how- Chad, do you guys see stuff on the screen that you can click? You should be able to click stuff on the screen right now. This game looks cool. That's three cool games in a row. Following now. What's up, Potato Life? I'm glad you think the games look cool. One day, maybe you'll come back for me instead. Subdog came back and said, Really? Thanks for 37 months. Appreciate the three plus years of sub. Howdy. FYI, doesn't show up on mobile. Mobile users crying. I didn't make the add-on. I don't know. Sorry. Apparently it's PC only, so we're, we're only gonna have the people who have computers. M mobile Megalol. Okay, if the number's still going up, uh, I'll give you guys a few more seconds, because I don't know how many followers to expect, so this might not be, like, the most common thing that happens. Yeah. People... GET OFF THE TOILET! RUN! Sprint to your computer! Get out of your blanket burrito! Stop eating your microwave mac and cheese! Put the fork down, get the mouse, and then click on participate. I don't know what the screen looks like. Just jump in. Whatever you have to click on this screen, click it. Wipe your greasy pizza fingers off on your shorts. And then, mouse over until I see 150 participants. It's still going up. You're listening. Good. That's the... See, here's the thing. If you want to be a cult, you have to listen to the cult leader. This is a test. All right. Raffle over at 150. Uh, Minotaur Monk has won. Welcome to the cult. Follower creation in progress. So Minotaur Monk is making their character. You can take a little bit of- we'll give you a little bit of time. It's not- not a rush, okay? While we're doing that, we can talk about the game because even though this is not an ad, I still want to know how much money this costs because this is a preview build of the game. Uh, Chad, how much is this game supposed to cost tomorrow? I'm just gonna look. I'll Google it myself. $25. And it's got rave reviews. I haven't seen anything lower than an 8 out of 10. Like, reviews came out for this today. And I genuinely have only seen positive responses. Nobody's been on my Twitter feed and been like, You know what, Cult of the Lamb sucks. They've all been like, This is Game of the Year material. It's crazy. Okay, good job, Minotaur Monk. Nice pick. Timely fashion as well. Your traits are naturally obedient. Good. I need my cultist followers to be very obedient. On recruiting this follower, immediately gain 10 faith. And, uh... Coprophiliac. Gain 10 faith when falling ill. I need to make you sick. I'm gonna make you so sick. <laughs> Chop trees or mind stone? You start with the trees. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Gather necessary resources and build a cook fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. 
Okay, we need five lumber and two stone, but maybe I can go get the stone. That's one rock. I'm assuming resources are limited here, yeah. How you doing over there, collecting that lumber? Oh, you're going to town. Okay, it's working. Collect lumber. You're way slower than me, though. Like, look how much better I am than you, Minotaur Monk. That's why I'm the leader, and you're the follower. You just collect that and save it for later. I'm gonna go build the campfire. Cook raw items and turn them into meals that followers can eat. You can only build this once. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I hang on, hang on. Two thing, two questions. Is everybody's stuff in the same place when you start a new game? Like are all the streamers trees, rocks, bushes, ruins, boulders in the same place? Or are they randomized? Is this farthest frontier again? You can edit later. Okay, that's good. Sub Shadow Light, thanks for 45 months of sub. It's random. Okay, that's cool. Thanks for f almost four years of sub. Welcome, Shadow Light. Time to plan the Mega Base. <laughs> the Mega Base. You can't build in this middle quadrant. Like, a campfire seems like something that maybe should go in the middle of something. I'm ready for a three-hour megabase plan sesh. What's up, Mary Skipper? Hello, Metal Bit. Thanks, Mod Squad. Uh, it has to be somewhere where there's not debris. What's stopping me? What is stopping me from just going and manually clearing all the debris in this camp? Is there a time limit? Nothing? Your own time. Okay. But you can move stuff later, right? Because my first thought is just the, the campfire right here. I like, I like all the way this feels so far. It's very nice. And look how many buildings there are. We have economy buildings? Okay. Let's... Maybe I'll just tuck it into one of these corners. I like it uh, on this left side right there. Also, the music is good. All right, let's tuck it in right here. Oh, you can flip it? So what, it's facing the other direction? Okay. That's my starting spot. Hopefully this is a good spot. Wait, follower? Minotaur Monk? Help me out. Thank you. Good job, my minion. Your followers need to eat. It's up to you to provide meals. The hunger of your cult is in the top left. When this gets low, followers begin to starve. Uh, find food while crusading. Pick roots that pass through forage locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found whilst crusading. Collect berries and cook a meal. Minotaur Monk, I need you to go fetch me a tissue so I can blow my nose. How hungry are you, Minotaur Monk? I don't think we have any berries. I can make you a basic berry bowl! 15% chance the follower poops instantly. That's a fantastic little uh, blurb there. Okay. Hey, Minotaur Monk, come here. I need you to work. You've done a great job mining or er, chopping trees. Now go mine stone. I'm about to make you the best grilled cheese sandwich 
you've ever tasted. Oh, the <laughs> it's a mini game. <laughs> now we must build a shrine, but first we'll need more followers and more gold. Both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the Old Faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the Old Faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so he may be freed. Now go! There you shall find gold and willing recruits. And for those who are not willing, convert them by force. The dungeon has opened. All right, I leave you to it, Minotaur Monk. Do good while I am gone. What was that? Plus one lumber. Followers deposit resources here while you're away. Ooh, that's cool. Very nice. All right, here we go, dungeon time. Why am I nervous? I literally, like, it doesn't matter. I... <sighs> Learning roguelikes is always a bit nerve-wracking for me. What is this? Oh, it's, it's dungeons depending on how many followers you have. Requires one slash nine. Uh, Darkwood seems like the one to go to. This is final boss stone. This requires seven. And this requires twelve. So we're gonna get comfy in the dark wood, I think. What does it say? Here godly blood was spilled. Here did death no longer wish to wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> Minotaur monk! I require your blood to open this door. Thank you. Now back to work. Yeah, this is really good so far. As expected. Return with more followers and gold. Okay. Crusader's Blade 1, 1 1.2 damage. Basically nothing. These are dummies just to practice on, I'm assuming. Because they're different weapon types. Entering the lands of the Bishop Leshy, those who do not follow the ways of the Old Faith will be destroyed. Maybe these... How many times do you think you have to hit this before it blows up, chat? Can't believe I'm being backseated by people from a game that isn't out yet. I love that your follower just zapped away instead of, you know, walking down the stairs. if you have a portal, if you have the ability to uh, go underground, you use it. Does Bugs Bunny walk? Or does Bugs Bunny dig? You know what I'm saying? If you had the power to fly or hover, would you not use it at every available opportunity uh, provided that it doesn't zap you of energy? Like if it doesn't make you actively tired to do? You'd never walk again. Yeah, your leg muscles... Okay, do you think that people who can fly, and they fly all the time, do you think it's like being an astronaut where your, like, leg muscles start to deteriorate unless you actively make an effort to exercise them? Probably. In theory, you're a super being in this scenario, so no. But hang on, do you think that like just being, the act of being a super being is enough to keep your muscles from deteriorating? 
Does Superman ever have to work out? Don't ask me why I'm doing this. I have to. It's like Zelda. You are basically always planking when you fly. So top form. Is there a map? I don't know, I'm going random directions. Ooh, what's that? Those are spikes. Okay, those are spikes on the ground, that's a trap. And, uh, we got a bird that way? There's shiny stuff on the ground, but I'm not sure if that means anything. Okay, up is the... They're both little cross symbols, no matter what. So it's just question marks, we don't know. I'm gonna go up. Yeah, I see the mini-map top right. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one that waits below. So the card showed me once, many lifetimes ago, or has that yet to be? I have always drawn your cards, Lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. The cards shall decide. The lovers or the hearts? Either plus one blue heart? Is that a binding of Isaac heart? Or gain an extra half a heart? How would Superman just work out? Spider-Man didn't have to work out. Toby just got ripped overnight. But there's a difference in gaining your power and maintaining your power. If that makes sense. I'm gonna get the... the half a heart seems replenishable. Whereas the blue heart is probably a lose it and it's gone heart. This is max health, I think. I'm gonna go for max health, assuming that's what that is. Ah. So there's a lot of different cards that can be drawn from tarot. Okay. There's probably like secrets in all these rooms too. I'll figure it out as I go. I'm just gonna stay on the move. They can move through walls, kind of. The hardest part is also the easiest part. Like, I have knockback. I can't roll through walls. The knockback means I have to go chase them after I hit them, though. Because I push them back so far that I can't get to them. By the way, to anybody that just joined, I just wanted to say, we're playing on uh, very hard mode because chat informed me that people said the game was too easy unless it was on very hard. So, I will see how much I regret that once I get to the first boss. Fortune's Blessing. Receive double the health when healing. Okay, so max health is actually amazing for this. That looks like a boss room for sure. Uh, I think, was there another room that I missed? Or were that all the rooms? Okay, I guess that's all the rooms. Probably just an easy first run. Well, in we go. Oh, it's okay. It's a different floor, not a boss. That's the boss. So our options are foraging, stones. I'm going to go for just one of the foraging. It's like a slay the spire type of ascent. So we can get different uh, resources while we are going. 
I just need gold and followers. Ooh, don't hit the... Actually, I don't know what happens if you slash the berry bushes. I assume you maybe just get fewer resources. Like if you just break it. I don't... I'm too scared to try it right now. I'm gonna try it in a controlled environment. I don't know, it looks the same. It looks identical to me. Where am I? Why are there bodies in all these? Oh, those are corpse bags. <laughs> I see. Uh-oh. Why do those guys look like they blow up? They look like they explode, like little blow-up worms. Now we have two paths to go. We can go left or right. Uh, let's try right first. My goal right now is just, like, pick off one person at a time. And try not to spread the damage around too much. And just... What is... what's happening? I'm sorry? <laughs> Was I supposed to run to the other room faster? How can this be? You were put to the blade, Lamb, as all your kind were, and yet here you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown, his power, could it be? But I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little Lamb. I already died. You can't kill me again. Hello, Lieutenant Campbell. Can't wait to join the cult of Etel. Well, now's your chance. But thanks for 51 months, and enjoy the game when you do play it. I definitely, I definitely dodged. The good news is there's health in the other room, just don't panic. So typically, like, if without that max health, I would only have two hits until I was dead. Now I get three. I'm not sure that dodging through people is good. I haven't figured out if there's iframes or not yet. We'll see. But I will take this Oop. and go back to full. Foolish samurai. It did kind of look like Aku, now that you mention it. Did I just go? I didn't mean to just run in here straight away. You have come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same? I give myself to the cause, almighty leader. <laughs> By the blood of the Great Ones, destroy the Red Crown! Uh oh. I don't know if this is an elite or a boss. Okay. That's a problem. It bites. It bites. Oh shit. There's too many bad guys. I only have one. I'm gonna die already. He does like the, I cannot see the bite coming. That, it's so telegraphed though. him. Get the ads. Watch out for the bite. Oh, shit. There's like four of them.
Maybe just ignore him? I don't know. Just calm. Okay. All I have to do, remain totally calm, focus on the boss and not the ads, and just keep it together. It's fine. We're good. We did it, Chad. That was just like an elite. But I rescued a follower. I saved one of you. Please spare me. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. The follower awaits indoctrination. Okay. Choose six berry bush seeds, 16 berries, or 16 lumber. In my opinion, we have 14 berry bush seeds. Plant this in a farm. I don't know what to value right now, because I feel like I have a lot of everything. I feel like the berry bush seeds are gonna be the longest term, but wood's gonna let us build stuff now, because each tree was only like five wood. So that's like three trees. Chat, what do you think? You backseat now. I love how the lamb gets a beat up texture when you're low on HP. Very cute. Wood, log, lumber, wood. Hey, chat says wood. Okay. <laughs> I got a lot of cash. Um, I only have half a heart though. Is there like a map somewhere? There's quests? Oh, there are quests, yeah. Well, that one, sure. How do you see the big map? Because there was a whole different direction to go, but... I might actually just be free if I want to leave. I got one of four. Should I leave on my own or go back for more resources? It feels greedy to go back with half a heart left. Because there is another, there's a room to the left. What, I don't know what happens if you die. I already have the credit for the kill though. So what's like the penalty for dying? I'm assuming you lose your goods. Just don't get hit. Oh yeah. Okay, never mind. We're good. We don't need this, I don't think. Damage everything on screen when hit. That would have been cool. Reveal the map is kind of pointless. Okay, so that I just missed my power up basically. That would have made that run easier. But I'm assuming you just lose some gathered resources. Okay, good job, chat. We did it. Let's go back to town. Well, so far, this is incredibly smooth and very crispy. And very fun. But I'm ready. To I didn't get the no hit. I'm sorry. But um, I'll take the win. The art style is fantastic, and the audio is um, is very nice from like the music and the the way that they talk and everything just seems very polished. I'm relieved to see you made it safely, and you've not returned alone. You've convinced more to join our faithful flock. Let us indoctrinate this new convert so we may continue. You ready, chat? You have to be on a computer. No phone users allowed. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. You're in. Should be on your screen. I went from interested in this game to seeing it as a day one game for me. Seems really well made, yeah. I'm impressed so far. Come on, chat! What? Why isn't anybody clicking? 
Z there's zero people in this raffle. What? Where are all of you? Are you all bots? <laughs> I, I didn't click start. I was just... Riling you up. Now you can click the button. Listen, I want to have the most participants. Every single time there's a new follower, the number better be higher than the last time. You guys are doing great. You're already up above where we were last time. Instantly. That's the power of having been streaming for a little longer. We can do 200 easily. Alexa, set alarm for one minute from now. Remind me to participate in the raffle. Confirm. By the way, my phone, like when I'm using um, Google Maps, to get around and stuff as like a GPS. It has just been ran- First of all, I don't have like voice recognition on my phone. I do not use uh, voice assistance at all. However, it has been randomly activating. I have not said Google. I have not said, okay, Google. I haven't said any of those things, but it's like, ding, 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 ding. Like, what do you need? And then it just takes whatever the sentence is and just starts going rogue with it. Jeff Bezos is listening to me at random. Announcement. Alexa. Damn it, Italics. My Alexa made a reminder for you. Good. Chad, I need nine people to participate. Eight people to participate. You can do it. Through seven people. Five people. I know you're out there. Four people. Do it now. Three people. There's always somebody. You can't be a good cult unless you pay attention and listen to orders. Literally two people just need to press the button. One per- who's the final one? Okay, in the raffle. <sighs> Habu Dabu Habu has won the raffle. Welcome to the cult. Rigged. <laughs> Good name. <laughs> Good cultist name. Abu Dhabi the cultist. Please, feel free to customize it as you see fit. But, yeah, I think it's a good cultist name. Well done. Our golden monkey. Very cute. Your traits are both awful. 15% harder to level up? And work and devotion generation speed reduced by 10%. You are the worst cultist. We took you because you're the only one available. Two negative traits. You work slower and you level up slower. Cynical sloth. But you'll have to do for now because you're better than literally nothing. Followers will either work or worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. Of course we do. Alright, we're... Habu is currently chopping. There's a golden poop here. Unsanitary conditions at your coal will cause followers to become sick. <laughs> if a follower becomes sick, assign them to bed rest or they'll die. Resting allows them to recover. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies cause illness to spread quickly. Cleaning messes and burying, bo burying bodies will prevent the spread of illness. I don't- did I finish all the things or did I not look at all of them? Was there a final page? Is there a way to look at the tutorial again? There is. No, I got all of them. I like that you can access those though. Good job, chat, contributing to the totem that we don't even have yet. Okay. Oh, there's faith and decor? Oh, wow. I got deal. I got DLC already, chat. 
I got the super version of the game as a preview. Okay, this needs 30 bucks. We have 55. You can only build this once. This is where we pray. The shrine will hold the devotion that we create. It just goes in the middle. That's where it goes. Easy. I don't even have to choose. Day minus one DLC, yes. Go, my minions, and forge a shrine for us to worship. Praise be! Your followers can now worship you. Here is a new follower. Assign them to worship at the shrine. Then collect the devotion your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. Look, chat, you have another chance to be indoctrinated into the cult. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Again, you have another chance. We're connected. We are about to direct connect you straight from your lowly existence as a chat member who has not seen the light to one of our willing, loving, adoring worshippers. Okay? You're about to leave your past behind. Fira says people arrive, people leave for a thousand bits. Thanks, Fira, for the bits. I appreciate it. Thanks for the stream support. How to join. You have to be on a computer, I guess. And there should be something on your screen that you click. And since we had 200 participants last time, and that was 60 seconds ago, we should have uh, 200 this time, too. Or at least 199, because someone did get picked. You guys are doing great. You're doing a really good job clicking the button. But you should see it. Yeah, you should see a button prompt over the video of the stream. Let me play, Tao. No, I'm playing. I just started playing. I haven't even been playing for an hour yet. These are some bops. Okay, I need 18 more people. Chat, do, do, do you guys have smart TVs that are integrated to your voice commands? Like, if I said, <clears throat> if I said, like, Alexa, turn TV to maximum volume. Confirm. Confirm! Does that work? Hey, everybody! I need you guys to get off the toilet and come participate in this raffle! <laughs> that had to work on somebody, right? <laughs> I have Google and it only knows my voice. Your attempts have no effects. I mean, look, the participants went up. <laughs> Robot Mystic has won the raffle. Follower creation is now in progress. You use the ounce of power you had to fuck with people. Thank God I have a dumb TV. You're giving my Alexa a workout today. Okay. Okay, Google. Change voice assistant language to Portuguese. Confirm. Confirm. I don't know if that works. Is that... it might. Robot Mystic has created a wonderful follower with a bumblebee stinger head. Sorry, you have to say confirm in Portuguese. Joke's on you, I speak Portuguese. Natural Skeptic, on recruiting follower, immediately lose 10 faith. You're gonna take, I just gained 10 faith from my first follower and you deleted 10 faith for accepting you, but you're level up a little faster because you're super gullible. 
The faith giveth and the faith taketh away. Go worship at the shrine to generate devotion. Skeptic but gullible. <laughs> Collect devotion from the shrine. Once you have enough, you get an inspiration. The more followers worshiping, the faster they'll fill it up. If the shrine is full, they'll stop worshiping until it is emptied. Once you've collected divine inspiration, unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrine itself. Chat, you guys already filled it up. Um, I don't know what you landed on, but it's acquired a new follower form, a new animal form your followers can take. You got a cute little smiley mouse. And you still contribute, you've almost contributed to yet another one. There's almost another one here. But the, but that one doesn't give me upgrades. Let me see the upgrades. I mean, these are just all the buildings we haven't unlocked. And some of them are higher versions of the, okay, this is a fairly large tree. Sleeping bags. Body pit to bury dead followers. That's a tier one unlock. A place for followers to sleep, very unstable, will often collapse. Grow a seed into a crop. Okay, we've got farming. And then the farming bundle, water nearby crops with a farmer station. But the temple's gotta be first, but we need a divine inspiration. Fantastic. How much like wood and stone do we really need right now? If I don't have any build, if I don't have any buildings, then doesn't it make sense to tell everybody to come worship here? Eat, sleep, find a meal and eat. How do I know if you need food? I'm gonna have all of you go worship right now. How does a sleeping bag collapse? I don't know. But there has to be like... Man, I love this background song. I'll make some berry bowls, chat. Okay, so you got food on the ground, which I'm assuming will spoil. Was I not so... Wait, do these spoil? Okay, this might have been a bad idea. All right, chat, where are all the back seaters when I need them? Is the top left the overall hunger and sickness? They're all full, I think. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, maybe we shouldn't have spent all the berries that we just got. So I think we just made three meals for no reason whatsoever. That's too bad. We only have 12 out of 50 devotion right now. But I'll go ahead and collect it because we have a divine inspiration. Establish a temple to preach sermons and perform rituals. Absolutely. These also require divine inspiration. Okay. Chad, have you guys been boosting this? We got another divine inspiration? That was fast. Personally, I think let's go for uh, self-sustaining food first.
And then that goes to the farming bundle, which gives us a seed silo and the farmer station. And then this leads to four different types of resource buildings. We got scarecrows, fertilizers, harvest totems, compost. Dear God, I didn't expect all this. Totem contributions, six out of 10. Thank you, chat. Okay, let's take a peek. We got a new building. It's 15 lumber and 15 stone. Establish a temple for sermons and rituals. Ooh, this is large. But surely a temple is like one of the most important build. I'm gonna build it here. I've decided. Mega base planning does not need to extend for an hour and a half because that is a perfect location. That is a perfect location for a temple. All right, my followers. We probably don't need three of you. We need 29 devotion for the next thing. Let's have Robot Mystic go help build. You can increase the channel point cost of contributing to the cult totem if you feel like it's too often. Dev said not to decrease the time though. I guess there is a configuration. How do I change that? I oh go to manage the reward cost. Go to channel points page. Skolgar said that. Okay, contribute to the totem. You guys have been getting it easy for five hundred channel points. No, no, no. Uh, if you are so keen on deleting channel points all the time, we're gonna make this twenty times. 10,000 channel points. My money! There you go. No more 500 channel points. 10,000 minimum per contribution. It's on a three minute timer, I think. You'll still do it. I was thinking about making it more expensive, but 10,000 seems reasonable. Maybe we'll make it more later. For some reason, I didn't think that you could change it. I'm gonna help build the temple. Hello, Hippo, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to my cult. The temple is the center of your cult. From there, you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will dissent against you. You guys are gonna dissent against me? And eventually leave. Your followers are ready to hear your word. Show them that you are their great leader. Preach a sermon. It's going well. Good. Glad to hear it, people. Going up faster than Disney Plus. <laughs> Bro, you guys are not at full faith right now. This is his own room. This is awesome. Perform a sermon drawing energy from your followers to bolster the power of the Red Crown. Through the faith of your followers, you grow stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from your flock and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers with a higher loyalty level will generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have and the more loyal they are, the quicker you get new abilities. 
Time anyone but Tynan out for 10 minutes? Goodbye, I'm fire. I guess. Okay. Did I do it? <sighs> Permanently gain half a heart. Oh, so generous. Thank you. I feel so much stronger now. Performing a sermon, drawing energy from the followers. Wait. Yes, you've already preached a sermon today. Up 10, you, gain, you gained 10 because you preached a sermon. Okay. I see why you were chosen. If you were to guide your cult, you will need to declare doctrines so they might obey you. Return to the lands of the old faith and seek out commandment stone fragments. With these, you'll be able to declare new doctrines. Where is, um, Robot Mystic? What you doing? Oh, did I interrupt that? It remembers your progress. Very good. Are they going to eat? Chad, they're hungry. <laughs> they're going to eat and do stuff. On their own. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to keep two people praying and one person working for now. That way we get a nice mixture of different uh, goods. Because I think it's probably time to just go back to the old lands anyways, so they should be fine on their own. Oh, no, we can do the farm. It's two gold and five grass. This is a tiny, tiny little plot. <clears throat> We can only do four of these. Unless I get one more piece from something. I don't know where the grass blades come from, though. You would think grass, which is fair, but I can't just go around chopping grass. You might just get it from the runs themselves. Chad, do I need to turn up the channel points? I want 10,000. 10,000 is a nice balance because it's a good chunk of channel points and still anybody can kind of participate. Um, as it takes a bunch of people to get one level up. Um, I don't know what the farm buildings look like. So I'm not really sure where I want to put the farm because of that. Because you got to have like a lot of different farm pieces. Somewhere down here is reasonable, though, because, like, away from the temple, we can always move it later. It's one-third of my net worth. Don't worry, there's plenty of people who got channel points to dump. I have to pick a fairly arbitrary location. I can't, I can't pick that one. Diagonals are hard. Goodbye, 20 grass. I can just help build this myself. Robot Mystic can only do so much. They are getting hungry. So I can see the top left. Oh, they left some poop. <laughs> That's why. All right, let's plant some seeds. Eventually, I'm assuming we can probably make them water the seeds too. I did see some self-watering, but there you go. Okay, chat, you guys are almost at the, the extra bonus. But I say we just get going. I'm 
five points away from the next power-up. That's just an unlock, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's a building unlock. I say we just come back. Maybe leave them, like, one food. Okay, there you go. You guys eat whenever you want. Their faith is going down. I think I need to just go. Faith is going... I don't know when, how fast the faith goes down, but we don't have much time. Does it tick while we're in here, too? People right. What's up, Jamma Ben? Also, Heepo, thanks for the 25-month sub, dude. Welcome. Sorry, I'm just now noticing that. Hope the streams have been going well for you. I appreciate the two plus years of sub. Um, how's your experience been with this? If you've been playing it or maybe you're looking forward to it. 2.4 damage, slow speed. So this is like two and a half times as much damage as we had before. Love the art and humor of this game. I like all of those things too. I'm glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes to grant you a crown ability. <laughs> Hold to aim. Oh boy. Shoot five enemies. The quiver of righteousness. Do I only have three total shots? Oh, you, you can get reloads. Okay, and there's a perfect r release point. Enemies you slay will now drop fervor. Collect this to replenish curses. Fervor is the righteous anger earned by striking non-believers and works like ammunition. Fervor will drop when you slay an enemy. Collecting it refuels curses. Okay. Oh, if you do it at the perfect time, it explodes. Oh. Okay, so did I just use it all? I see the mana in the top now. I get it. Oops. <laughs> I got hit immediately! <laughs> no hit run over. The axe, like, is a weird hitbox. This Rattel guy is a bit suspicious. Bro, I literally have already signed a deal with the evil overlord to start a cult in his name to release him on purpose. I don't know how much more suspicious it can get than, than that. I'm literally the right hand or left hand of the ancient evil sealed away by the four big bad, like, spirits of the forest or some such. I, I'm already on their team. Overall weapon damage increased by 20% or enemies drop twice as much fervor. I don't know. This axe does so much damage. Let's just make the damage go up. Nah, that guy seems chill. I think just all in on weapon damage. I don't know what 20% of, like, 2.4 is, but I guess I could probably just look. It's at 2.8 damage. And that's about as much as the flame shot does. Alright, it's nice to find that, like, right out of the gate, though. Alright, we got new enemies. Which is a little worrisome. Can I help you? So you foolishly persist, little lamb. I hear your lies and I smell your fear. The red crown rises again. But what an unworthy bearer it has. Aw, so mean. 
Track quest? Ow! I was reading the tutorial! That's not fair. I didn't think they were gonna be bad guys. What? I don't even know what that said now. It pisses me off that I'm one damage away from killing half of these people. There's... Dude, what the... There's too many. I need a... I need a heart bad. I gotta actually sweat now. I have half a heart. I'm dead. What did it say? It said tracking a quest? Hmm. That's for R3. I can make lamb noises. That's way more important. Um... Kill Leshy in Darkwood. Find commandment stone fragments. They probably have 3 HP and you're doing 2.8, yes. I think that's correct. Uh, this is very unfortunate. It has a huge hitbox and a tiny hitbox at the same time. Oh my god, I'm back. Cat in the box contributed to the totem. Did you do it twice? Came up two times for you. Acquired Stonehenge. But who made it? My oh, my first decoration. Okay. I got some loot, some money, and uh, end of this floor, I think. Ah, uh, this is gonna be tough. I think we probably want to go for it, the follower instead of wood. That just makes sense. Help! Get me out of here, please! Is this a trap? What if I just leave you? I'll see you back at camp. Even if I die. But yes, right now you guys are contributing to the totem. Uh, you'll eventually be able to vote on bad things too, I think. But that that part hasn't come yet. That comes later. What is this? Steel devotion times seven, but at what cost? Is it gonna hurt me? These are the questions you have to find the answers to without chat. Divine Inspiration Unlocked. What's the catch? Did I just make this level harder? Jesus, I get stuck for so long at the end of the axe animation. I have to, like, hit and then go. It's definitely getting a little harder. I am playing on the hardest difficulty, by the way, for those of you who came in late, because chat said that every, everyone says the game's too easy. Too easy. You need to challenge yourself, gamer. What is this? Eons ago. These lands were rife with gods and their adherents. What befell this pantheon? Alas, tis nature of beasts to forget and of gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left, mayhap they slept, mayhap they devoured and were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spread roots, spun webs, molded this world to meet them in theirs. Twere a land of many gods once, hundreds now. Nipple salads contributed to the totem. Thanks. Pick up a commandment stone fragment. Yes. I see.
You have found fragments to form a commandment stone. They are used to declare new doctrines. Use the altar in the temple to declare a doctrine when you form a new commandment stone. Okay, so regardless of if we die, which I'm thinking we probably will. I'm think chat, I'm thinking we'll probably die here, you know, like Just don't panic. Get the weenies first. Then the big boys. God. How? Why? <laughs> Don't panic. Why is that so difficult to hit with? <sighs> I'm fighting freaking worms. I'm talking to cultists. I guess that's just something I do now. I'm advancing in the top right? It is. Are we all but players in this game of chance? Ooh. Enemies drop more fervor for range is good, but I just want to live. I can just dodge. Just give me the extra half heart. sweat a little bit here. The flock is ready for another sermon. Woody. This is bad? Am I... Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Everything is scary. Shoot a piercing bolt. Hold and release to m make it an explosive. Alright, so better than flaming shot one. We got poopies. Rich in nutrients, useful on farm plots. Oh, I should have used that. Oops. 3.3 damage instead of like 2.8 or 2.9. It's not that big of an upgrade, but... I have all three shots, so I should use them. <sighs> I don't, I'd like to fight a new boss or a new mini boss with all of my health. That'd be great. But alas... Just keep it steady. Berry bush seeds? I want to try and start using uh, my curse a little bit more so I'm never just stuck at three bullets and not actually doing anything. There's a lot of projectiles here. I want to go for the bottom left. Now top left. Now bottom right. All right. Whew. These are some spooky rooms with lots of projectiles flying. So if this... If it looks like this now, it's only gonna get harder. Because this is still the easy dungeons. Uh, let's go left. Mm. Give me more power. When hit down to a single heart, all the enemies get two damage. I'm already at half a heart, though, but I have one extra half a heart, so I think Death's Door is fine, but let's just get the Spirit Heart. Habu Dabu is starving! My... My children need me! <laughs> Chat. We gotta go fast. 
Did I get hit? Nope. My followers need assistance. Feed him now. I don't. I didn't know you were going to get so hungry. No. He jumped. Shoot? Yeah, he shoots twice in a row sometimes. Wait for the... Ooh, he's getting fast. Too fast to hit the ring. I should not have been that close. He was actually pretty easy, but I got down to half a heart anyways. I'm glad I took the spirit heart. That was... <sighs> I'll take the half heart win, though. I gotta get back. No wasting time. Don't talk to chat. The followers are starving. We gotta go feed them. Quickly. Quickly. Uh, gold nuggets. A nature necklace. I, dude, I don't know. What, which one do I pick? <sighs> feed me! <laughs> I gotta get the necklace, right? But what about gold? Take the gear, right? Harvest bonus resources with the follower. Okay, that's not... Probably should have taken the gold, but that's okay. Now, tons of money. Tons of money. Lots of coins. Let's get out of here. Okay, we got part two. Part two of this door is four parts. Hurry, they're starving. Feed us, father. We're so hungry. Okay, that was that was the opposite of a no-hit run. Uh, 15 minutes. We almost died. Very good, my vessel. It seems I chose well when I kept you from death. I will be watching your every move. Do not disappoint me. Are those the two little people on the side, like the kitsune mask wearing anime demons who are the servants of the the one who waits? You know what I mean? There's always like a white cloak, black cloak, kitsune, they have two different colorful kitsune masks and they're completely silent and you never see their face in the anime. We're gonna make three foods to keep the people from starving. They're so hungry. Who, which one of you is starving? Why are you waving to me, Minotaur Monk? Go eat! Great leader, the cult is growing day by day. What is the name of your cult? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> Dissenters. The let you just want it to be the letter E. Lame. Cult of you. Me? Uh, the Undurfed Witnesses. Chad, are they starving in the background while I do this? Eeltalix. 
what is the name of your cult? Uh, what about like, um, you know, I, I want to make sure that all the other cultists in the game actually know me, okay? So I'm thinking like, I, I, I'm just saying like when I'm in multiplayer games with them, I want them to know that it's like... Italics, um, TTV, you know, I want them to, I want them to know maybe dot TTV. Like I need them to know my channel because if they see my name in a multiplayer game, they're definitely totally gonna click and go search me and then become followers and that's how I'm gonna become a famous streamer. They're not just gonna get annoyed because I tried to like advertise in the multiplayer game against them, my channel. That's how it works in Halo lobbies. How about the uh, parasocial pulpit? Don't forget to say, yeah, buddy, when you join. Okay, that's good. Good idea. Um, let's go, dude. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, buddy. Why you, you, Midas can hear you talking about him. He can hear you talking about him. <laughs> he knows! I'm not gonna name it. Um, I'm not gonna name it that. I don't like naming things. Big E. That has a nice ring to it. Your followers are no longer starving. That's good. Chat! Chat, serious, serious question. Their faith is at an all-time low. Do I just go do the sermon right now? Quick, 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 quick. How do I get the faith up? It's, it's draining fast. Uh, which one, which one, which one? Sermon? How do you make the faith go up? They're angry! Look at them! I haven't even indoctrinated the newest person yet. Dude, I was supposed to- No, I was supposed to indoctrinate the fourth person first and then do this because I have three out of four <laughs> points. No! <laughs> Declare a new- Hold on. I'll be back. They're pissed. Skill issue. Only two hours in, restart. Chat, I need a new I need a new participant. Failed to min-max. I forgot that I had to indoctrinate them. I also don't think the game was paused while I was naming, uh, so therefore the n meter was ticking down more. Why is Italic suddenly panicking, chat? Because I don't know what happens when it drops to zero, Faith. The raffle shows up if you're on desktop. If you're on mobile, I'm sorry, I can't make you see it, unfortunately. Chad, there were 200 participants, like, 20 minutes ago. I know you're still there. But since we have a time uh, thing, I'm just gonna say 150 is fine. Lazies. Lazies! Announcement. Click. We don't want to join because we see what you do with your followers. <laughs> so needy. I am needy. Is there anything wrong with that? Okay. You know, you're needy too. We all need a lot of things every day. 
food, water, sleep, exercise, video games, streamers to turn, press the go live button, okay? Dr. Skelly has won the raffle. Welcome to the cult creation in progress. Congrats. All right, they're creating their character now. Beautiful narwhal. Green narwhal. You get... Heals 15% slower, but 15% easier to level up. A gullible, but sickly follower. I can't believe I didn't get my 4 out of 4 credit for this sermon. Alright, you go worship with everybody else. I think faith went up as a result. Let me talk to my followers. Yuck! This place is gross! If you don't clean this up, someone's gonna get sick! Okay, listen. I'm working on it. Right now. Where's all the poop? I'm helping you guys out. And I'm gonna make you guys some food. I'm gonna take care of you, okay? There's food for the followers. You guys are so angry! Why are you so angry? Oh, my, my little berry bushes are growing in. Two food only. I know, I'm gonna make some more so they don't starve. Dude, it's already- the faith is already in the red. Hold on, we need a doctrine. I'm trying to keep them... ...sustained. Why is your faith so weak? Uh, use a commandment stone to declare a new doctrine. Select from a category and make a choice that'll unlock either a new ritual, trait, or follower interaction. That one, yes. Come gather around, my followers. Bonfire ritual. Dance around the flame to increase the cult's faith. Yes, I guess I have one choice, and it'll be that one. Why is this such a race against time now? There's so many rituals that we could do. It costs 25 bones that I don't even have. Are you guys... I don't have 25 bones. I haven't got a single bone. Preaching, sir, is performing rituals providing for the needs of your followers will keep their faith high. The bones of your enemies are required for such rituals. Destroy their skeletons to gather their bones. Return to the lands of the old faith, gather bones, recruit more followers, and return to perform a ritual here in the temple. Okay. Yes. Bones. After slaying a non-believer, desecrate their bodies <laughs> to gather bones. Sure. Ooh, chat, hold on. Twitch totem reward. You guys are packed. You got lumber. You, you could do better. Please do better. A, that, to be fair, there's a lot of lumber. Divine inspiration. I'm gonna make you guys sleeping bags. I hope this makes you happy. Okay, I can either do graves or the farm. I don't need graves yet, so I'm just gonna let the bodies rot. So much faith! Graves will raise our morale. <laughs> Dead followers. Farmer station and a seed silo. Let's go with that first. Okay, now we unlock tier two. Cult two, there's a sequel. Upgrade temple and shrine, collect more devotion, allow more followers to pray. Okay, very good.
place for a follower to sleep. It's five wood and ten gold. You guys sleep somewhere we're not going to build for a little while. Like up here. I got you. I'm paying for all of you. I don't know if you need that many sleeping bags, but... Um, Robot Mystic is so mad. Thank you, leader. My faith in you was justified. Oh, thank God. Okay, we finished the quest. Now they're happier. Faith is back on the way up. Do I have to assign these to you? Minotaur Monk lives here. Robot Mystic lives here. Habu Dabu lives here. Dr. Skelly lives here. They're hanging out. They're talking. They're chatting. Who's this? Who is, where, where did this person come from? All right, Twitch chat. You're back. I need more followers. Ninyu says howdy for 59 months. Howdy, Ninyu. You're here just in time. He was the boss you beat. Oh, well, who was the other person before then? When you killed the boss. Okay, but who was the person previous? That, oh, I rescued... I did. I rescued one and I, I defeated the boss. You just grabbed them. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember now. Chad, I want to see everyone tab back over and participate in the raffle because... I need the people who are the least invested emotionally in the stream to get picked for the raffle so that they stop alt-tabbing me and give me their full unmuted attention for the rest of the stream until their character dies. And then they click off and go to a different stream. Now. Hello, I am participating. I wish I was lucky, but I am not. I mean, you have a 0.5% chance of getting selected, which is honestly pretty good. Your chances go up every time a follower gets picked. Think about it. Wait, do they? Depends on how many participants there are. Like, if I said you had a 0.5% chance to win a million dollars in the lottery, that's like, whoa! That's incredible odds for the lottery, right? Like, if only 200 people played Mega Millions, that's like a fantastic chance. Now, granted, this is just a follower in my cult, but what if you become the right hand of the cult? What if you become the best follower? You're gambling on that. I need two, I need, okay, 200 people. Jaggle Jaggle has won the raffle and is now customizing their character in whatever way they see fit. This is the Mega Millions channel point gamba. This sounds like a legitimate talk, not at all like cultist speak. Jaggle Jaggle is here. Our newest horned follower with two debuffs. Lose five faith when another follower dies. Terrified of death. You can't be terrified of death in this cult. We may need to sacrifice you. Thanks again, Ninyu, for a big 59 monther, and Rikun as well as back. Hi, Rikun. Lose 10 faith when ill. This is a faith drain. I need to get rid of you, but you generate devotion 15% faster. Ha you have- everyone has red shirts. Very fitting. Alright, go generate devotion with Habu, Dabu, Dr. Skelly, and Minotaur Monk. We're gonna have four people on this. Uh, I- I need a new sleeping bag, maybe? But we're running out of money? What I'd like to do instead... We need stones. I like my little cult grounds area. You picking berries for me, Robot Mystic? I want Robot Mystic to mine stone for us. Chat, we have to... Do you understand how many cultists we have to feed now? <laughs> 
There's a lot. Uh, I think some farm plots would be smart. Berry bushes on the daily. And the farmer station allows followers to water nearby crops. Ooh. Okay, this is the spot then, for at least the first bit. We can move stuff later. Very large farm station. We'll worry about the beds later. I need to be make sure that they stay fed. Robot Mystic is helping build. I'm gonna keep the poops clean, and then we just need to, we need to go before time runs out again. This is actually a race against the clock. All I need to do is at least plant uh, the berry bushes. Oh man, that's actually a big build. Alright, as long as I plant them, in theory, they should finish this building while I'm gone. What'd you guys give me this time, chat? You filled up the bar again. Did you give me another follower? <laughs> I, I, is this good or bad? I don't know if I can feed you. Please spare me. <laughs> no. Wow, someone who's good. Easier to level up. Chat, you have another chance. Think about how many 0.5% chances you have. Have fun feeding all these people. That's what I'm saying. It feels like a... This feels like a bad thing, not a good thing right now. I gotta hurry before everyone starts starving. Follower surplus. <laughs> we are all gonna starve to death. This game's really fun so far, though. I didn't know there was gonna be this much sort of, like, cult grounds management. And I like it. Food Death Spiral and Farthest Frontier are now this game. Every game of Death Spiral. Hey Tal, just checking in to let you know I tab back in quickly this time to expedite the process. I need 20 more participants. 200 people every time, at least until 9pm Pacific. How do you join the raffle? Probably be on PC. Uh, there's an overlay that you should be able to click. I don't think it's possible on mobile. I didn't make it, so don't get mad at me. Hello, I am participating again. Thank you, Cheesy. You guys are doing great. You're doing fantastic. Metallus has won the raffle after expediting the process and tabbing back in. Rigged. I read their comment, and then they got in the game. You can't uh, make that up. Nice turtle hat. I love all the different characters. Okay, let me get you on mining as well. We do need more wood. Okay, we need to go before they start starving. Tin lumber. Uh, return to the old lands and collect bones. Do we have any other quests? Besides literally kill Leshy. I don't think so. Alright, it's game time. We're on a timer because they starve and continue to work while you're gone. I think we actually have enough followers to open up... Well, that needs nine. That needs seven. We have six. Okay, this is fine. Is this more of a streamer game? No, you can play single player. It's just it has Twitch integration. Convoke a violent eruption of powerful tentacles or take the fast, quick cut, low damage razor. 
I'm taking the... Maybe both? Or is it just one? I think it's both. Okay. Play with a dagger build. Alright, let's go. Oh, okay. That's what that does. Shit, I gotta collect their bones now. These are all bone sites. Because we need 25. Gotta uproot their graves and desecrate their bodies. I don't like quick, low damage weapons. What do you do? What? Okay. Uh, let's go right. Okay, the off the path tends to be cards, I think. Cures, curses consume less fervor, deal poison damage to enemy struck. Let's go poison dagger. That sounds like a good synergy. Because then we can just get a little hit in and then do some damage after the fact. That's pretty sweet. Take that, you nerd. It doesn't stagger them, though. Shit. Oh, I just got double- I'm dead! <laughs> I hate decks! There's no stagger! Oh, the sword and the axe knock back, but these don't. I have to, like, hit them and run. Insta-dead. All right, let's just rip the band-aid off. I'm fine with this, because we had no resources. You lost 50% of new items. Who cares? I had, like, five bones. Rip Bozo. <laughs> Fear not, for you are my chosen vessel, and death cannot halt you. I shall not allow it, for I still have need of you. Take what you have gathered, build and strengthen the cult. This is how power is gained. Continue on undaunted. Each time you are brought down, rise again stronger. All right, let's just get the first death out of the way, okay? I'd rather that happen than get to a, a new boss. The problem is faith is low. I wonder if we can do a ritual right now. They're hu chat. They're hu they're gonna get hungry though. Doctor Skelly, do I have to assign you to water crops? Tend the farms, Doctor Skelly. You're in charge. I mean, I'm gonna help you, and then they just go do a different job afterwards. We can do fertilizer, too? I don't see why we should hoard it when we can just pop it all in there right now. Oh my god, you guys are pooping... It puke. What are you puking for? Is someone sick? Oh, I cleaned up everything that's gross. I think. Let's, we just need to go quickly. Faith is going down and they're getting hungry. I'm gonna have to speed run this. We still need 25 bones. Okay, we got the battle axe again. That's at least familiar. Knock back enemies within range while also damaging them. Okay, that's a blast. Okay, I just have to test it out. <sighs> Gotta go fast is too scary. Let's go this way. I don't think I'm gonna be able to... Someone... There's a bomb. Someone is going to starve back at the camp. Like, guaranteed. The 
they're gonna there's so many so many projectiles one hit's fine I can take I can take one hit There's not, a, there's not another my dad sleeping comment, is there? What year is it? He knows. Yeah, I know. What do you mean he knows? Of course I know. Uh, we got a free half a heart. Okay. Run is basically saved at this point. Uh, ooh, these are getting more complicated. I don't know what this is. Is that a shop? I don't know what these symbols mean. I definitely want, like... There's hearts. I'm just gonna try this right path and see what these are. It looks like it could be a shop, and I don't have any money. One can be certain of nothing but the heart's affections. Choose and buy ambrosia, increase curse attack, choose a blueprint, or buy a commandment stone. I'll go with a blueprint. You got a bale of hay. Is that good? It's a bale of hay. It's a decoration. Okay, I should have gone with something else, like a commandment stone. Dude, a bale of hay pog. We could get another follower. I feel like I have too many followers. I'm gonna go for hearts. Oh, I forgot. Gotta go fast, chat. I got no time to goof. You let me know if they start starving in the background, okay? You have to tell me if they start starving. Lose red hearts, gain disease. What the hell? Oh, it's the council. So it is true. The red crown sits upon the brow of another. But how? We did everything we could to... It matters not. We need not bother Shamura with this. Deal with it, brother. As you command, my sister. Lose red hearts, gain diseased hearts. Lose red hearts, gain diseased hearts. I don't know what that means. Jesus. Stop hitting me! I'm going, this is what I'm... Going the health route, dude. Jesus. Shit. Why are they so thick? Stop dodging! Oh my. Oh, Jesus. There. was embarrassing, but I'm fine. That room sucked. I have to desecrate the bodies and collect skellies quickly. Alright, I have two hits left and I'm dead. What is a diseased heart? me? Did that hit me? He hits you when he goes underground. I have to learn, like, where the hits are for each... I gotta be more aggressive, but also, like, hang back a little bit. Chad, is anybody starving yet? Back in the colony? I feel like a diseased heart is a bonus heart? 
that when you lose it, something bad happens to you. Because it seems like bonus extra hearts. But also, I definitely missed something back here that would help me. Because I think whenever there's a fork in the road... Yeah, there's like a purple um, entrance way too. Step forward, beast, from the swirling mist of chaos that surround. Allow me to regard you wholly. Hmm, you carry the weight of eightless centuries upon such diminutive shoulders. Yet what is this? It seems your stature is deceiving. A weapon is not without the hand that wields. To fell enemies, to defend honor, to break chains. Let your crown take the form of one of these works of iron forged in everlasting fire. May you wield them well, promised liberator. Flame Shot 2, Convoke a Violent Tentacle Eruption, or Get the Crusader's Blade for Speed. I think I'd rather have... Flaming Shot 2 is pretty good, but let's do the Tentacle Touch. Alright, Divine Blast is whatever. Wait. Chad said I missed something? What'd I miss? That's that I missed a heart? I haven't even... F this? I haven't even gone to the next room yet. I didn't miss it, it was just still there. Okay, anyway. Missed this middle finger. Cur curses consume 25% less mana or fervor. Alright. Gotta go fast. <laughs> my love took my heart to the sea. The sea, she took my heart to the sea. It is where my heart will be, will be, in her bed at the bottom of the sea. Welcome, Crusader. Take a moment to join me in my search. I look for the heart that once beat in my chest, that is, until it was taken by her. I have been sitting here for so many years. Even her face has faded from my mind, yet I keep searching. Always searching. I have a dozen hearts, you see, but none of them are mine. They are yours. If you wish to have them, Crusader, they are worthless to me. I care only for the heart that was once mine, so I might look upon her face one last time. Ah! <sighs> I have full health. Wait, did the Cursed Heart take max health away from me? So I can only have Spirit Hearts? Okay, well that still resulted in... I got scammed. I gotta go. three points away from another devotion. Uh, did I get the 25? Why are you so big? Why has he got a bomb icon? Is that a bomb? I don't know what just happened. Okay, uh, special upgraded blades. Give me the special crusader blades. I just got hit for some reason. There were like three bombs. I saw the bombs in the middle, but not the one in the corner. Whew. Did I get, no, I didn't get hit. Okay, I thought I got hit by the chest. Um, veer off the path. That was a bad idea. Don't touch me. Don't touch.
All right, we're good. I still have a full heart combined, and I have uh, a spirit heart and a half to go. Okay, if we miss the side room, we need to go back. Italic, starving. <laughs> but what do you want? I'm going as fast as I can. I didn't even get to read the flavor text. Damage everything when hit. 10% chance of getting a spirit heart when killing. That's so good, but I need... I need diseased heart again right now because... Uh, there's not going to be that many enemies left. There's just going to be whatever the boss is for this floor. I want food. I'm so hungry. <laughs> please. I just need just one berry, please. This is a tunnel. What is his attack? Okay, lo lots of spikes. One is one of the attacks is lots of spikes. Okay, you can hit twice when he comes up right now. Unless he changes attack. Hit twice, then dodge. Alright, new attack. I'm too spooked. Might be able to get three, but it's very greedy. One melee? I mean, I have one ranged attack. Probably can get three in there. God, I don't do any damage. New attack? Nope. He's gonna probably phase shift to something faster in a second. If I time it right, I should be able to get, like, four or five hits at least. God. So healthy! That does damage. That don't don't get tilted. Don't get tilted. It's fine. Don't just let him roll. Shh. Why? He's so everyone's starving back home waiting for you to win. Followers are waiting. Thank God. Oh, look, you've got teeth in your skull. I will rescue you. I like that I haven't died to a boss. I just died to that one room and I blame the dagger. Chat, I feel like I need the food because... It seems like everyone's always starving. I'm gonna do berries. 25 coins, we got some bones. Perform literally any ritual in the temple. You got it, I'm going home now. And that's three out of four for the big door. Late, but I've been excited for this game. What's up, the dark? And hello, people rivers. This is our third time through the dungeon. We're playing on the hardest difficulty because that's what Chad wanted, and we've died only one time, and it was just kind of a stupid death and not a skill issue. Not a skill issue. Do not make the mistake of becoming the servant of your followers. They are for you to use to your advantage. Their faith is a resource. Spend it as you would gold, for you can always regain their trust with a well-placed gesture of kindness. Let it empower you. Let it give you license to do unspeakable things. Bend them to your will. I grant you the power to read their feeble little minds. Follower command. Interact with followers. Read their thoughts. See how hungry, tired, or sick they are. Aw. Even though I'm going to bend you to my will, I'm also going to care for your needs.
You have declared a doctrine, which has granted you a new follower action. Yes, the ability to audit my followers. Meatsnack says, I am ready to serve our Dark Lord. What's up? Welcome for 35 months, and welcome back to the cult. Uh, we got some things that the followers were able to grab. The, the faith is at an all-time low! We have no time! Start the raffle. Faith is at an all-time low. Hurry! Click the screen! And we have a quest that I think we should have uh, been able to finish. Faith is actively plummeting, yes. The game pauses while this is happening. So. I will not be joining this faithless cult. Well, we need a beacon, a paragon of faith. To lead us. To show us. The light. Maybe that person is you. I clicked, but I don't know what I clicked on. You're clicking on the ability to join the cult at random. You'll be chosen by this plugin. I heard this cult had snacks. We have berries. Lots of berries. Do you have dental? Uh, our newest follower has teeth on their head. So I think we're going to have to get some kind of follower dental plan. Bork! <laughs> Hello, Bork. Please create your follower to whatever you think looks the best. Bork, bork, bork. We all have teeth in our head. <laughs> Technically true. <laughs> Technically true. Welcome, Bork. I hope you're a good follower. You are a good follower! Gain faith when building better sleep quarters, and on recruiting, this follower immediately gained 10 faith. Maybe the best follower so far, Bork. Bork, I want you to get to work um, chopping trees for us. New recruit is naturally obedient. You have a new follower, your flock grows. They gave us 15 faith. Uh, Robot Mystic is starving. Hungry. I could starve to death. Boring. Bad chat? Boring. Must avoid them in the future. That's how I feel about chat, too. But so far, it hasn't worked. Um, what? Glorious leader, the base is an eyesore. We need beauty to celebrate your glory. Let us build decorations in your honor. Oh, I do not want to lose 35 faith. I accept. Build decor. And also... I'm gonna take all this faith, this devotion, I guess, not faith. I don't think you're ever- you guys are not gonna die, right? We don't need a body pit. Because I'm not gonna let you die. Upgrade the temple and shrine. Collect more devotion and allow more followers to pray. Seems like an important unlock. Tier 2 is now open. Gather round, ye faithful. Oh, it builds it immediately? Cult upgraded! The people are so happy! 25 faith! Meat Snack contributed to the totem. Thanks, Meat Snack. We've almost got another Twitch thing. Okay, let's do, uh... I thought there was another follower. No, we only got one follower that time. Okay, let's do a sermon then. Come, faithful. Followers, show me your faith. Prove it. All seven of you. Okay, we finally got another upgrade here. Bane weapons have a chance of poisoning enemies. They will appear on your crusades. Okay, so this is upgrading the runs. Three new curses will appear. So this is more curses. Vampiric weapons. So it's like weapons versus curses, and you kind of just want all of them, obviously. Kind of just want them all. Let's start with weapons first. And then we should have some more, because we just... Yeah, we have six overflow for the next one. Oh, 
Ah. We'll start a ritual in a second as well, but first let's go feed everybody. I don't want them to starve. These are super berries. They have a little star because we fertilized them. We got five instead of, I think, three. What was that? There were not enough beds for your followers. Minus 20 faith. <gasps> I'm gonna scream. Jaggle is starving. Everybody shut up. A hearty meat broth. What does this cost? Two meat? I'm cooking. Chat. How do I feed Jaggle? Wake up, Jaggle. Don't get mad. You woke Jaggle and disturbed their night sleep minus five faith? Shut up! Guys, midnight snack time. Minus five. Day six. Oh, so this actually is a race. Do you want to eat more? I'm going to get you guys all beds today, okay? We're going to get you guys all beds. How many do we need? At least three more. Right now, they're going to just stay together. Eight without table, minus five. New constructions is plus two faith. They actually do plus twos and plus fives. <laughs> okay, faith is up. You now have enough bets for the followers. Indeed I do. You guys have a home. Look at them, they're so cute. Give them a little sleeping bag. We need to build three decorations, and there's a time limit. I just saw the time limit. Stonehenge. Just a teeny bit of stone. Two, two stone. That's it. Just two. Uh, I'll put it next to the cult beds right now. We, oh, I got DLC, but I can't afford it because we don't have enough resources. The DLC is just cosmetic. It's just skins, I think. Because you can just make three of these. Here's some hay bales for you. I think it's like $5. Hay bales next to the farm. Getting those certain slots is difficult to line up. Okay, there we go. I'll build these myself while they're asleep. We can have 21 hay bales. I'm gonna build them all. Time to wakey wakey. They love new decorations. All right, so there's actually a bunch of ways to get faith up. Metallus is coming to help me out. Finish dinner. Mega base time? It's always mega base time. Your followers are no longer starving plus 20 faith. Oh goody. So I guess the risk of um, taking too long in the base builder is they, they do get hungry. And you run out of food eventually. Without doing quests and stuff. And or just resources in general. Alright. I think I need to, like, check and see what everybody's assigned to do. Let's plant some more berry bushes. Somebody's definitely assigned to water these. Hello, Minotaur Monk. Guess what? I did it. I did do it. Truly you are without flaw. I am grateful, great leader. Quest complete. We have the maximum amount of faith. What we do not have is the maximum amount of not starving to death. I 
I don't know how many people are hungry, but there you go. Jackal is so sleepy. Is it because I woke you up in the middle of the night? Member for four days, age 30. Saw poop? Ew. I need to be sent to bed. Okay, I didn't know I could make you do that. I can make you sleep. I can give you a gift or eat. Go sleep. You, None of you are getting gifts, unless it's the gift of a sweet release from this life that you currently now serve some of you are gonna get the, the gift of being put on a stake somewhere chat what gift is this there's a totem reward you have a new animal form to take for the next follower People have already been watering this. What else is gross? Are we missing more disgusting things? Is it time to go? We built them beds. We already have a cook fire. Uh, can't afford a seed silo without 10 rock. Metallus is mining. Bork is chopping. Should have at least three or four people doing faith stuff. Jangle's taking a nap. I can help my followers get the big stuff. Okay. Let me see what they've been getting for me. Not much. Oh boy. <laughs> this is a massive rock! All three of us are mining it, and it's still like barely moving on the meter. I'm pointing at my screen at the poop. Poop on table in Riften. Robot Mystic, were you hiding back there? There actually is a lot of poop here. The dark contributed. Getting fertilizers. Why do they poop in the corners? They go hide? Oh, we need- I need one. Alright, one is good. Divine Inspiration. Upgrade to a more stable shelter. Uh, a statue where followers can leave offerings for you. Hold naughty followers in the prison. <laughs> uh, generate wood in the lumber yard, a stone mine, and send your followers on a holy quest to gather resources if they make it back alive. Prevent birds from stealing the seeds from farm plots within range. Oh, goody. I think we should focus on food. Stability of food. Okay. I need to hurry. Two things. We got the seed silo. I have the stone and the wood and the cash. Seed silo next to the farm. If, if you don't use this for this, then I don't know what else you're gonna use it for. And then the scarecrow is all of the wood and all of the money. <laughs> oh, lovely. You can move all this stuff later. Or so I've been told. Uh, let's do it here for now. I saw a bird. Let's also add fertilizer back. That way we can get a good crop harvest. I thought this game was a roguelike. It is. Did people play Hades for the first time and they're listening to dialogue and like, I thought this game was a roguelike. Te excuse me, technically it's a rogue light. Excuse me. What, Metallus? Can I help you? Great leader, when times are tough, we can cook grass meals. Followers won't like it, but it beats starving. Try it now. Do it now. Fine. 
do it now. Make Metallus eat grassy gruel. There you go, followers. You have seeds. Be happy. Minus five faith and a 25% chance of causing illness. Beautiful. It beats starvation, they said. I don't want to speak to you. I want um, to build this. How do you... I can't get close enough to build it without activating Robot Mystic. It's okay, someone else came to finish the Scarecrow. Is it time to run? Oh, ritual! I see poopies. Metallus, you need to eat gruel. Did they eat it first? <laughs> Everyone else ate the gruel first. The, we're gonna get very sick and lose a lot of faith. Metallus, eat it. You honor me, great leader. I am eternally grateful. Okay, quest complete will restore the faith. And it's time to... It's a new day, so we can just do a sermon, I think. It is a new day. And then we need to go back into the dumb language. By the way, uh, thanks again, Meat Snack, for 35 months. And Jam and Ben for gifting us up to GS Random back for 21 months. Hey, welcome both of you. Increase the starting level of weapons when you begin a crusade. That feels better than just three new curses. Because you use a starting weapon the most. So let's just make it slightly better. He actually did eat it before too. He wanted two servings, I guess. Oh no, I don't have tin wood. Chat, the quest is to do a ritual, but it feels like a waste of a ritual if our faith is already maxed. Am I crazy? We don't have to do it right now. Jackal Jackal, what is your job? Build an outhouse so I can poop in peace. <laughs> you should be getting devotion, I think. Minotaur Monk, are you starving? Are you okay? Everyone should be fine. I think we just need to go. Bork? Gets faith with better sleeping and also faith for recruits. Bork, I'm gonna have you. Nope. No tasks available in the farms. That's fine. All right, I'm out. Perform, it won't, it's gonna make me perform the ritual. But they're going back to sleep and I have to feed them tomorrow. That's not good. I need lump, you, can you actually soft lock yourself out of this if you spend all the wood on the entire map? Maybe. I'll just chop this tree while you guys sleep. Don't worry about me, I don't need sleep. Work the cultures to the bone and then get your faith back. It regrows over time. Yeah, but what if it takes longer to regrow than the time it takes for your um, followers to die? Hello, Gamer Deathbot. Uh, the Gamer Death was about to soft lock me out of playing more because I got to go get uh, some water, actually. I'm very thirsty. I'm very thirsty. This game is really cool. And it seems like there's a lot to unlock, too. I love my little farm down here.
That's a spider. A morsel of meat. We can cook the spiders. The flock is all ready for another sermon. I didn't mean to stay here this long. Okay, well, we're gonna do a bonfire ritual as per the mandated quest. Faith is maxed. We may as well just do a sermon too, because that's just free points. Okay. They are feeling incredibly faithful. Indoctrinating followers is well and good, but there is so much more you can take from them. Give them gifts, complete quests, and perform blessings for them, and you will increase their loyalty to you. Once they are totally loyal, they will give you everything they own. Okay. Watch as I show you. You, follower, come back in here. Yes? Increase a follower's loyalty to level them up and they will reward you with devotion and a commandment fragment. Each time a follower levels up, they will generate extra devotion when at a sermon or worshiping the shrine. So be sure to cultivate their loyalty. To increase loyalty, give them a blessing once a day when you interact with them. You can also give them gifts, complete quests for them, perform sermons, and much more. The more loyal followers you have, the stronger you'll become. I have much to teach you, but I am old and grow weary. Visit me at my home and I will show you how to harness the true power of the Red Crown. Yo, there's a map? There's a map. The Lonely Shack. Interact with any follower and perform a blessing. Give a gift. Increase a follower's loyalty until they level up. Who did I say was maybe the best? Did I say Bork? Bork is uh, naturally obedient and materialistic. Bork, I give you my blessing. There's probably a better one, but I don't want to look at every single person because I need to go fast. Yeah. We'll level you up first. Give to a follower to increase her loyalty. Follower will harvest bonus resources. Here you go. Nature's necklace. A gift for you. How many people can I give a blessing to? On recruiting follower, immediately lose 10 faith. Shut up, Robot Mystic. Heals 15% slower, but 15% easier to level up. All right, Dr. Skelly. How many people can I give a blessing to each day? You're gullible as well, Metallus. Does it cost anything? You can bless everybody? What's all this poop doing over here? They're all mining! It's daily Animal Crossing talking to the villagers. Okay, Metal uh, yeah, M Minotaur Monk is also incredibly decent. You can only do a gift if you have a gift. Okay, you're awful. Abu Dabu, you're 15% harder to level up. You don't get my blessing. Oof. Ten faith on falling ill, but generates devotion faster. Jaggle, I don't think you deserve it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Hapa Dabo, you're the outcast right now. Who's back here? 
Who's chopping this with their mind, dude? What, Jaggle? Leader, it would be so funny if we pulled some hilarious pranks on Metallus 69. They are a real picky eater, so let's make them eat poop. Make Metallus eat a bowl of poop. Epic pranks. We need to go back to the dungeon, dude. I'm, we're all gonna starve. Who's Who was chopping that with their mind? Someone's supposed to be watering these. I'm also not sure who I haven't blessed. I think everybody. Oh god. How am I gonna- how am I gonna make them eat the bowl of poop before someone else comes over here and eats it? Just like that, I guess. Oh, epic prank! Oh, he's looking at me, he's eating the bowl of poop right now. He hates poop. Minus 20. Sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry, Metallus. Uh, who gave me that mission? Jaggle. <laughs> oh, leader, you are so funny! We are so lucky to have such a leader with such a great sense of humor! Alright, we gotta go. We gotta leave. Let's get out of here. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's is it a new tree? Baby tree? Welcome back again, GS Random for 21 months. If I think I got you earlier, but I might have missed you. But I think I got you. All right, they said go visit me at the Lonely Shack. Yes. Now, this, this looks like story bit. So, before we do the story bit, uh, I do need to pause because it's been over three hours. I need to go get some water, okay? I'm thirsty and I'm hungry and there's a dog over there who is in need of also probably going to pee, okay? So, I'm going to go take care of that. I'll be back in just a minute, though. BRB and listen to this while I'm gone. This game is really, really good so far. Thanks for hanging out with me and watching and uh, getting a nice little preview early. I'm really enjoying my time. I'll be back to continue after this. After these 17 ads in a row. Go.
Thanks for waiting, everybody. Is this the pause menu music? No, it's my pause menu music. 
This is my life's theme song. <laughs> and now it's over. Wait, were you guys still able to contribute to the totem while I'm paused in the game? <laughs> that can't be legal. I'm back, or he's back. You've discovered my humble cottage. Be careful you don't make the same mistake I did, or you'll end up in a place just like this. Now, perhaps a game of knuckle bones? You don't know it. Why, it's simple. Step up to the table and I'll show you. Is there gambling in this? Defeat Ratau at knuckle bones. You've acquired a big gift to raise the loyalty of a follower. Okay, here we go. Knuckle bones time. You have my attention. Match dice. When dice are the same number are placed in the same column, multiply their value. Destroy your opponent's dice by matching yours to theirs. Calculate your score by adding all dice together. Connect four? That's the worst roll. I think that's just gonna be bad no matter what. You get a five and a six. This is supposed to be the lowest difficult bro. One times one is still one, right? Oh my god, misplay. Wait. Bro. How is this bu- <laughs> I only had four points! How many times do you roll? That's an angry two dice. I don't want to destroy yours, I want to multiply mine. Wait, does it multiply theirs too? Hold on, I'm not- still not sure how this works. So somebody fills up the board. Okay, but like, am I making their numbers go up by putting stuff on my side? No, it just, it just moves it. Okay. Oh dear God. That's a big one. Don't roll a five. Chat, this is Gwent. This is Dice Gwent, sort of. This is fine. They're not gonna roll the five. Sh shit. Shit. Damn it. Immediately. All right, there's fewer in... You bass. Yeah, I, I know you won. You know why you won? Because uh, I rolled three ones in a row to start the game. <laughs> My turn. Get farkled. It's arbitrary where the first dice goes. So we always want to destroy their dice when possible. But we also want to multiply. But I also don't care about destroying a one. I'm gonna put it on the right and leave the third space open for versatility. Starving while the leader gambles away our money. Chad, how does three times three equal 12? going on there?
The six times six is just such a risky bet because they can just cancel it so easy. It's almost better to spread the sixes out. I mean, this is an easy destroy both fours, and the, then I'm locked in. Okay, now I'm not locked in anymore. This is a back and forth brawl. Why didn't he destroy my sixes? AI, what are you doing? I have a six times six situation here. All right, now I just need to fill in the final two and I win. Why did I do that? I shouldn't have freed up the six spot. That's, that's fine. Two more slots. Just don't destroy anything. Tutorial difficulty. It's all random! Hold on. <sighs> I'm still winning. Okay, I'm not winning anymore. If I destroy this too, then it opens up a spot. But also keeps the game alive. I need to keep the game alive, because he's winning right now. Lost twice. Zero two to the tutorial guy. Okay. Don't worry, I'm gonna figure out the strategy. figure out all of this. I don't care what happens to the cult lives in the background, because you guys are going to be sacrificed anyways, okay? So if you starve to death, then good. That'll just make my job easier, and I won't have to uh, sully my hands by burning you at the stake or putting you into a pit and burying you alive or whatever I have to do. All right, so these twos are safe, which is maybe not good, but so are his ones. Destroying the three is not good here. So we don't want to destroy the three. Let's put this on the f that, that we should have left that one open. All right, I'm not really He's got a two a five and a four we don't want to destroy any of those Okay, that's fine because opens up room for his big six or big five because I don't want to destroy his five I just want to, like, have more points and, and... Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I forgot that he was gonna just end the game if he uh, filled in his final spot. If I lose again, I'll give five gift subs. That that's good. That's good for me. Or is it? If you roll two ones in a row again. Easy subs. Let us bet. I'll I'll let you guys bet on the future game. Look at this! I rolled two ones, he rolls two sixes. How am I supposed to compete? He's just knocking out all of my dice. Okay, thank God. <sighs> just roll better.
He's sandbagging. I'm not... <laughs> okay, he wanted to spread out his fives. Why? I need to leave that last space open in case he gets a big combo there. Okay, I can't let him rush me down because he's winning by four. Do I go all in? Chat, do I go all in on a six multiplier here and just trust he's not going to roll a six? Or do I spread the sixes out? I think I have to go big because I'm losing by a lot. And he's already he's only got a few more chin. See, now it's too greedy. If I put all my six eggs in one basket, that's so greedy. He can't destroy them over here. I'm already up. I'm already up. See? See? I told you. I tried to play it cool. Oh my god, I got another one. I need the point swing. I'm gonna need to keep the game alive. What if he rolls a one? It doesn't matter. I'm back. I'm back. I'm in. This is this is neck and neck. <sighs> what are the odds he rolls another five? That, that was a good play on my part then. I'm still up. I'm still winning. Uh, I do not want to destroy his two because I need the game to end. But if he gets a six, I'm screwed. If he gets a five or a six, I'm dead. If he gets a five or six, I lose. I'm gonna keep the game alive, because I need to, like... Shit. Is it a tie?! <laughs> what?! He still wins in a tie?! No! Why does tie not go to me?! House rules! Easy subs! Oh my god, I was trying as hard as I could. Literally unbeatable tutorial guy. <sighs> Here, just take them. I'm not making this bet for the next one, okay? Just, just leave me alone until I win. My leech, a new sub for your collection. Why you still care? You know what, guys? Being a sub's not so bad. Get that guy. <sighs> this is unacceptable. <laughs> Difficulty one. <sighs> this might be the worst luck ever. Like you guys saw, I was using actual legit strategies. That one. Where does a two go here? Probably on their follow their cheap stack with a cheap stack of your own. Okay, now they got an expensive stack, so we need to leave that open unless we get something to take theirs away. So we have to like copy their plays, sort of. But you don't want like I don't want to delete their one, but I don't want a one either. I think we toss that on the four stack. Okay, so I've still got plenty of space. Delete their double fours. Because they don't want to delete my one either. I think the three goes on to two and we leave the back line open. Okay, so they're locked in the middle. As long as we don't screw up the middle, we can do we can go ahead and lock in the four multiplier or wait for a six multiplier. We got a four on either one, though. This one scares me. I think just go ahead and take the four here so we can try and, like, finish the game faster. All I need to do is him not roll a six or a four. Okay. He didn't delete. You idiot. Oh, my God. He got smashed. 44 to 15? I went from losing four in a row to that. He threw for you. Yeah, he could have put the four on my four and at least kept the game alive, but he didn't.
Jeez. Five attempts. First try. By the one below. You're a natural! Don't patronize me, Ratal. Oh, I get a prize for that? Is it a consolation prize? An extra full heart. Very cool. All right, I hope the I hope you guys have been having fun contributing. Wait, I don't know what he said. Now you've had a taste of the game. I didn't mean to click the button. Now you can play and bet money. That was all for free. I only have one dollar. I'll be back later. I'm actually broke. Who's this? Oh, it's you. I must thank you. By relieving me of my duties, you've granted me what I desire most. Peace. Now that I've taught you everything you need to know, I can pass my days of playing knuckle bones. I have friends on their way to join me for a game or two as we speak. A rowdy bunch, to be sure. But now I am retired. I am free to enjoy myself. Thanks for the devotion. Back to Big E, I guess. Sir Ryer also, thank you for the 25 month sub. Welcome back, chat. People are starving back here while I am. What did you give me? Please give me food. Steak, 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 steak. We got nothing. We got nothing. We gotta hurry. Uh, wait, there's insane amounts of poop here. That's puke. Wait, they're all getting sick from, uh, eating the grass. What about the berries? They're not grown yet. All right, I don't know where the rest of the poop is. Here it is. There's some. We have to go fast. You guys are gonna starve to death before I get back. Oh no. Finally, let us in this. I'll be awaiting you in my temple. Come, witness true power. This is the longest one yet! Bane Axe 4? One struck by toxins, one begs for the blade. It's poison. Hold Icker. Projectile that spreads Icker on landing. We got like a poison axe. I don't want to aim this, but okay. That's a huge axe, dude. Okay, can I get hurt by- I could get hurt by my own- No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. I thought I could get hit by my own spell. The axe hits really hard, but it's- I actually find it really difficult to aim. But it hits, like, especially tier 4 is hitting incredibly hard. We haven't seen anything above tier 2 at this stage. And I know we need to be picking up more stuff. So what, I need to lead them through this? How did you hit me? Spirit hearts? A bed has collapsed? Chat, you guys' follower beds? Are, like, dying. Okay, uh, left or right? Stop jumping on the beds. Extra half heart. Double the health when healing. Those are both good, but I think just... Max health is always better right now. That's how it feels. How does a sleeping bag collapse? Chat is deciding your fate? 
I, I feel it. Like it's already been somewhat decided. <laughs> oh no. I don't know what that means. Um, increases chances to spawn better chests? That seems incredible. I gotta go as fast as I can before. Oh, no, 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 no. Decisions. So we got a follower, a shop slash free item, heals. Uh, this is a question mark. And then there's a flipped heart card thing. I don't know what that means. There's also maybe a follower here. I'm going for the item. Uh oh, do I have to buy you? Maybe I keep this one, I go hungry. You received a tarot card thanks to Twitch chat. Did I? Where is it? Okay, 18 bucks, 63% off. Here's all my money. I have to free the follower. What kind of cult leader am I if I don't accept this new blood? I don't know if you can break stuff in here, but I have to go. Uh, that just looks like a fight. Let's go this way. Can I help you? Is this infinite wood, but it takes time? No. Definitely not infinite. Chat, what was the tarot card that you gave me? You're welcome. Oh. Uh, when hit down to one half a heart, all enemies are dealt two damage. Thank you, chat. So very nice of you. I don't like this special ability. Let me just get hit immediately. Lose red heart, gain tarot card. Is that a floor bonus? Or did you do that? What is this? There's a fishing minigame? here hey kiddo keep your eyes off my fishies my leech, a new sub for your collection Good, you, still can. you know what guys being a sub's not so bad get, get that, that guy. guy who did that tangents thanks for the five gift subs welcome tangents enjoy your gift subs if you got one vash penny rustic arctic goldfish foogie yogi and the troll <laughs> there ain't enough for the both of us the best fishing can be found at Pilgrim's Passage. Where's that, you say? Let me show you. Oh, we're getting all kind of map stuff. Plenty of places to go. See? Now get out of here. What do you mean, get out of here? Chat, we're gonna eat so good. Free salmon, dude. Jesus, get good. Don't you dare. Uh oh, Leshy, is that you? What? Well, everything's breaking. Your persistence is beginning to annoy me, little lamb. You may think yourself clever, you may think yourself righteous in your service to him, but you should not be so trusting of the Chained One. Who said anything about trust? You killed me, and he brought me back to life in exchange for freeing him and becoming his cult leader. I don't understand what's the big deal. I'm not trusting at all. I just need to be alive. Oh, well. 
It's too late for talk. One such as you deserves no absolution. This will not end well for you. Why does this room suck? I don't hate the axe, but I don't love it. it. Takes too long to swing, and if you whiff, then it takes. There's a guy that shoots arrows! <laughs> Where did these enemy types come from? <sighs> he shoots fast arrows, too. You can't dodge him unless you roll. Did I gain a tarot card for losing a red heart or no? Oh, please. Full heart. Yes! I'm alive. I'm in this. Bork is starving. That's too bad. Heals. I'm at full health. That's why you always get max health. I'm back. What a, what a room. Don't do that anymore. Um, alright, let's go. Thank god I can switch off the bomb. Wait, I didn't look at what the other thing was. <laughs> the bombs! I hate this throne, Icker. It takes- you're standing still for so long. I didn't even look. That's fine. Because the, the shooty shot, like the fire shot, is actually really good. Is it boss time? I think it is. At least we get a full health attempt. Um, I'm setting my expectations there. No, it's not the boss yet. How many times have I been hit? Once? Too many times. Too many times. We're not gonna get a, like, free health room again, okay? It's gonna be the only time. I gotta time that better. Alright, get the ranged nerds first. He's, he's gonna drop bombs when he dies. I don't- okay, just the one bomb. It's fine, don't panic. Whew. Hold steady, chat. Hold steady. We don't have time for loot. Alright, I like the poison. I like the cleaves. Big money, big coins, big bones. Uh, which way to get treasure? Which way to get tarot? This way. Beautiful. Deal poison damage to enemy struck or reveal the map. Give me poison damage. Like just guaranteed poison every single time. We'll just we're gonna go in every room anyways, probably. I keep thinking those are bombs. I keep like assuming they're bombs. Traders Razor 5? That's the quick... No, 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 no. Let's just keep the axe. That's the thing that got me killed the first time. Uh, knock back enemies while damaging. I like the range. That I've got. I don't want any, any either of those. Let's just, let's just go with what we have. Pandoxic, thanks for the gift sub. Exist the noble. 
has been awarded a first time sub. Have fun. Hmm. Very big. Very spooky. I assume there'll be some dialogue and then an incredible battle. I grow tired of you, little lamb. Time to put an end to this frivolous masquerade. Okay. I assume there's going to be a lot of ads in this fight. Oh, or they're going to give their lives for Leshy. I only have three health, don't I? Focus on poisoning the ads. Okay, now we can focus on Leshy a little bit. Because he should get poisoned too, I would think. Don't get hit by the spikes. He can hurt you while he's underground when he gets up. We have time for at least two hits, and then I can probably go back in and get another one. Alright, so far pretty good. Woo! That was a little too greedy. I like the greed, though. He's only a third dead. I can't see some of the ads behind him. Oh! Ah! Woo! All right, we're good. What's he dropping? Focus on the ad strategy. This one's spooky. I don't like this. Okay, it gives you some time. It gives you some time. Nose itches. Spikes? Nope. Alright, projectiles. I could definitely get two hits after that if I just get a little greedier. Time it. I don't know if I want to hit because sometimes you take damage as soon as he starts moving. Alright, I have three rain shots. If I want to use them. Spikes. Oh! Okay! They gotta be careful rolling into that, too. I haven't got hit yet. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oops. Don't roll into it. Give us some time. Two, three, then go in. <clears throat> He's 
gonna do it. Ground pound. Two, three. Be calm, cool, and collected. Don't be greedy. Ground pounds. He's got to He's not dead. There we go. I got an axe to take down Leshy. I think that's probably as good as it gets. Like, the tree guy? You know what I'm saying? The heart of a heretic. You have taken the beating heart of a heretic. That was a no-hit boss fight, too. Good thing he didn't challenge you to a dice game. Shut up. The Red Crown can feast upon this heart to unlock new crown abilities. Visit the altar in your temple to unleash the true power. One dungeon done. That's a lot of loot. <laughs> Ooh, a Leshy trophy. Very cool. Can't build it because I'm poor, but I have a new commandments. Uh, acquired forest floor path. Lots of cool decorations. Good job, chat. Didn't panic. Kept it under control. The room was harder than the boss because I got the dodges down. have been defeated. <laughs> got some meat, got some fish, got some... a lot of money actually, 130 bucks. Now let's see if everyone's dead from starvation back in the town. <laughs> Leshy fell before you like a grain of sand before a tidal wave. Good job, everyone. What is a shepherd without a flock? Mm. Yay! <laughs> Look what I got, guys! Which chest deciding your fate? Your followers are starving, but they are inspired by your victory against the bishop. Okay. First of all, let's see what you guys powered up. Food, 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 food. Yes! Oh my god, we're saved. Oh, we're saved. Jackpot. Actually, the jackpot. Okay, basic berry bowls. Is that the only thing that has berries? Nope, we can make a meager mixed meal. It uses a lot of stuff. Okay, pungent. Let's make the mixed meal. 10% chance of increasing loyalty. Tasty fish meal? They'll vomit instantly or drop resources? 25% uh, chance of dropping valuables. 15% chance of instant poop. 10% <laughs> chance of causing exhaustion. I don't know how much food they need, but we, we need a lot of food, I think. Everyone's starving, I think. I'm just gonna make every single item I can. There you go, my followers. Fill your bellies. Minotaur Monk is very needy. What do you need? Excuse me, leader. Some creatures are here seeking shelter with our cult, but they are sick. Should we let them join? Recruit sick followers. I'm accepting every follower. I see the instant poop. All right, here we go. Chat, time to tab back in. We got many followers. Convert me to your cult and I will follow you faithfully. Oh. Oh. Time to tab back in. At least we didn't, I don't think anybody's died yet. Despite the fact that I've taken every single follower that I can. I don't know how we're gonna survive 
feeding you guys. I'm gonna try and just get more farm. <laughs> We're gonna have to survive on like berry farms. This time, I'll definitely get picked. It sounds like if we can recruit two more sick followers. I don't know if we're gonna have like three followers to recruit here. Hmm. These in-between jams are good. I wanna see 200 participants again. East Coasters are still awake and I know this. You guys are really far away. Four, you guys are 40 whole people away still. It's unacceptable. I'm awake. I'm sleep typing. I'm asleep right now. East Coasters are gone. 169, 170 participants. There's no way you can summon 30 lurkers from your ranks. Alright, I'm just gonna go because we might have to do more than one of these. I'll do 175. That's fair. Durf's Lantern has won! Welcome to the cult! Have fun creating your character uh, however you see fit. And congrats. Good job. Undurfed cultist is in. I don't know if it lets you do duplicates or does it eliminate... Can anyone who's created a character attest? Can you make a character that looks exactly the same as everyone else? Purple Narwhal, and they are immediately gain 10 faith on recruitment, and they gain faith when building better sleep quarters, which we have to do. Welcome to the Big E. Not the Big O, the Big E. Uh, we actually don't have enough tasks for you guys. I don't know if I can make you pick berries. You have another new follower. Please spare me. Chai, you have another chance. It's not over yet. I didn't get what's going on, but I see everyone typing the same shit. Wait, what'd you say? The same shit, so I do the same. That is the first step to being a good chatter. Is you don't know what's really going on, you just see everyone else doing something, so you do it too. That's also, coincidentally, what would make you a prime candidate in our cult. Oh, you guys got to 170 way faster than last time. Don't think, just do, okay? If you have a computer, click the screen now. Antagonist smiling at chat for 33 months? What's up, Antagonist? Thanks for subbing. Alright, good enough. Welcome Mario Nintendo, my newest faithful cult member. <laughs> Mario <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> the very good cultist for the Big E. That is a real viewer, yes. And they're hopefully customized. Ooh, I think we have a bee, but we don't have a yellow bee. I don't know if I've unlocked more forms yet. I freaking hate this stream. Just kidding. I was worried there for a second. Uh, faith when building sleep quarters and way easier to level up. <laughs> Mario Nintendo has become gravely ill and will die in a few days if not rested. Hold on. Rest until no longer sick. Who else is ill? We don't have a bed for you, Mario Nintendo. 
I need to build all the beds. Chad, how many followers are there? Nine? There's another one! Hold on. Gain 10 faith when falling ill. And also, everybody wants sleep quarters. One more. Go. Three chances to get into the cult. I don't know how I'm going to keep up with blessing you all every day. You guys are going to starve to death for sure. Feeding three more mouths is crazy. Kaibo's people arriving too? <laughs> My time to shine. Alright, less typing, more clicking on the screen. Is this a super cool cult I've been hearing about? It is. Mod Squad is- I want to see a mod in game. Kaibo, Mary Skipper, Nog, Metalbit, and Chargoth all have a chance. Click harder, Kaibo. Alright, we'll do 200 for the- I think this is the last one right now. We'll do seven more people. I'm on a phone, what do I click? Sorry, the developers don't love you as much. If you're on a phone, you can't click. Sorry about that. Honey Chain has won. This is a cool feature, though. I enjoy this aspect of it. I'm sure it makes the game slightly easier because you're receiving gifts from chat. At the same time, though, I am playing on the hardest difficulty, so I feel like it balances out somewhere. Ooh, is that new? Is that the Leshy one? Fancy. Are you sick too? Alright, we have a lot. We have a lot to do here. What are you guys doing? I knew you could do it. You truly are divine. Minotaur Monk has ascended to a new level of loyalty. Honey Chain just got a new trait, it said? Alright, we're gonna do two things. One, bets. We need nine bets. We need ten bets now, actually. That's ten bets for ten followers. I like the UI tells you at the bottom, too. I think they'll build them themselves. Excellent. Okay, we've got- we should have a place for you to sleep now, I think? For every single follower? I'm gonna tell both Honey Chain and Mario Nintendo to go rest. Dude, they have done Chat, they've mined everything. Alright, let's, um, hold a sermon. What about the berries? There's so many things to do! I love doing, like, tasks between dungeons. And it's the same thing- oh, first of all, catch this spider. Um, it's the same reason why downtime in, in Hades is good. There's actually so many spiders. It's because you've been like, I tried as hard as I could to beat Leshy on the first try. Um, and now I get to like, take a load off of my mind. My mental state gets to rest instead of sweat. I'm still sweaty because they're, they gotta be fed, right? They, like, there's still things to do. But, it's just nice to have other tasks that distract you from just trying to dodge and swing weapon as hard and fast as you can. You know? And this game does it really well, because they're, like, cleaning up poop is busy work, but it's busy work that gives you a fertilizer. I knew you could catch that. I don't know what it did. That makes crops grow faster. But it also incentivizes you to rank up. And, uh, give them an outhouse or something. Build them place- look at- look at the beautiful chat cults. And you really don't have time to do everything that you want to do every time. Let's imp 
improve the farm. Good morning, it's day 11. <sighs> we need to plant all these seeds. Actually, I don't have to do anything, because they should do it. I should probably check on the people that, um... Oh, we have a new type of, uh, crop. Camellia seeds. I assume they'll water, too? Okay, at least Dr. Skelly is. Uh, everybody else is just singing and dancing. Time someone out for 10 minutes? Chill in Sicilian. Mods, you know what to do. Clean up all this poop. Okay, we definitely do need to build them some facilities. We, let's just go do the sermon right now. All the resources on the map are gone. <laughs> They're too good at what they do. Ding. Ring the church bells. Look at all of my flock. Oh, so much devotion. Yeah, I think let's at least do the basic three new curses appear on the crusade. That way we can have some new options besides just the ranged attack that we have. And we'll have enough for another rank up next time. Why that lower people's devotion? Upgrade and expand the Red Crown's abilities. This is why we're here. Uh, use a commandment to declare a new doctrine. Select from a category. Make a choice that will unlock either a new ritual, trait, or follower interaction. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we may only get one of these. When killed on a crusade run for the first time, sacrifice a follower to be resurrected. I see. Once a day, eat a meal to receive a spirit heart. Focus whilst on a crusade run to instantly return to base in case of emergency. Receive a diseased heart at the beginning of each crusade run. I'm taking the sacrifice and it's not even a competition. You have a new crown ability. Death is no longer the end. When killed on a crusade, you may sacrifice a follower to be resurrected and continue your run. Instruct people in the sustenance, the liturgy surrounding their daily bread, reassure them that death is not the end, afterlife one, have them proffer both labor and love, teach them the true meaning of obedience or preach the value of earthly goods. Chat, what are you guys, what is the cult? I feel like food is the biggest issue for the cult, so I'm tempted to just do sustenance one and see what, what, how that helps. Even if the other stuff is cooler. Ooh, a choice. Perform a ritual at your temple to declare a fast. Followers will not eat or be hungry for three days. Or unlock feasting ritual. Throw a grand feast for your followers to refill their hunger and gain plus 25 faith. Saving all food resources or eat, be happy, and build faith. Oof. This is a Frostpunk-esque decision. Having an emergency faith builder could be good, but I feel like ritual fast is going to be cheaper. What kind of cult is this anyways? The kind that makes the flock not eat. But I do think having extra faith would be really good. But ritual fast would be nice for an actual emergency. Um, fasting, easy to save supplies, but also consider drinking and being merry. He chose to sacrifice us on death. Of course he'll pick fast. I think feasting ritual is better overall. 
Um, as long as we can grow enough food. I am the cult leader. I need to declare a doctrine. I can't just put this to the chat. I think for RP, we'd pick Ritual Fast, but for actual gameplay mechanics, probably Feasting Ritual long term. I don't know what either of these, both, neither of these are free. They cost something. I'd say if I'm going to sacrifice them, I want them to be willing to make the sacrifice themselves, and therefore they need to be happy enough to do just that. So we'll give them some good food before they go. Because it'll fill, I bet it's going to cost some food, but it'll be cheaper. It's not food, actually. It's bones. And I have bones in spades right now. We could actually throw two feasts. So that turned out really good. It's just not as good as three days. Because three days, you have to throw this feast more often. And there's a cooldown afterwards, so we only use it when we really need it. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff to unlock. So it looks like four tabs. You get four on each. You have to choose. That's cool. You gave a sermon, a new doctrine's been declared. Now, I'm gonna have more people. Mario Nintendo just woke up. Uh, after healing, you're no longer sick. Saw beautiful decoration. How beautiful. Why would anyone want to leave such a paradise? Mario Nintendo, talk to me. I give you my blessing. You should be easier to level up to. And I'd like you to work tending the farms. What, Bork? You interrupted Bork? <laughs> I'm the cult leader! I don't care if you're having a little social conversation. All right, since it sounds like we're gonna make a sacrifice, I don't wanna have a body uh, before I have a body pit. Let's avoid an emergency having to dig a grave scenario. We're gonna want all this stuff eventually anyways. Plus they have 70. Yeah, there's 70 div divine, what do you call it? The divine inspiration's unlocked again. <sighs> Prison for naughty followers leads to a confession booth and propaganda speakers, which makes them work and pray faster. Hear a follower's confession to increase their loyalty. Can be used once a day. Statue where followers leave offerings. Uh, shelter will collapse less often. I think we need to go into, like, resource mode, because what we don't have are any map resources. So let's start with lumber. Like, they're already out of trees. And I don't want, like, a bunch of people to just sit here idle. They're doing yoga. Ascend, Metallus! Okay, you leveled up and we got a bunch of stuff. Very good. So, some people are getting hungry. Oh boy. Oh, now we're talking. We got another commandment. Robot Mystic level two? How do, I wish you could see if they're level two from a glance. Oh boy. We're snowballing. Oh. 
Dr. Skelly wants to go even further beyond. Jackal Jackal had already leveled up. Orc, I'm sorry I interrupted you earlier, but do you have something for me? Level 2 seems pretty easy. It's everything else. Alright, let's get the stone mine, too. We unlock tier 3? Maybe? No. We unlock tier 3 next. You guys are all gathered around the same place. Let's let's spread them out a little bit. Let's get them to go do something else. I'm gonna make them uh, beef broth, uh, stringy meat gruel, and a bunch of berries because they're so hungry. What's this? It's my colt. We're doing pretty good for ourselves. All right, we don't need the body pit until we need it. Uh, so forget about that for now. 30 bucks and 15 logs. Where do we want the work to happen? Like we have a big farm here and we probably want to leave room for more farms in the future. So I'm thinking pick another corner. Man, they picked this map clean. I'm thinking top left for work. But I also want to leave some room for decorations because there's no way we're going to fill in the whole map. You can also apparently move stuff so it doesn't have to be like a uh, super tough mega base planning decision. Let's say here. And then a follower will generate stone. Probably want this to be also near. I don't know. I I can I can for sure move these, right? Because something's got to go at the edge, but it's probably going to be decor. Because none of these look like the spot that I want. them eventually. Alright, well that's all that really matters right now, I guess. I think the mine should be in the corner. Okay. Now they got plenty of jobs. I would like... Is there is there a menu that I can, like, change all the orders that I have given them? Do I have to go talk to them? I need to just find out what they're doing. Oh, I do like this screen, though. Because you can see their loyalty at a glance. Okay, that's what I was wondering about. You can also see their hunger and sickness levels. So... Durf's Lantern, Mario, Nintendo, and Honey Chain, I think, are the only level ones. Nope, Hab Habu's also level one, because we refuse to bless them. Sorry, Pop. <laughs> Durst, Mario, and Honey Chain. I give you my blessing. Oh, you already got a blessing. Sorry. I don't think Durf's got one. Honey Chain, did you get one? Nope. Enjoy. I can give... I don't have a gift for anybody, I don't think. Abu Dabu is being punished for being bad. Did their clothes change by the level? It does look like they have robes now, yeah. It does appear that way. Ooh. 
I'm gonna wait on paths until we get more buildings. Just seeing what's available. This needs things we don't have. You can only build it once. That's fair. Alright, I think... Uh, what are we ready for? I do have a gift. Who's my favorite follower? <laughs> uh, first, what do you want? Leader, that was hilarious. Let's do it again. I know Metallus will find the funny side of it. Make Metallus eat a bowl of poop. We will simply coerce them into being the victim of yet another prank. <laughs> they don't even know. Mmm, tasty, isn't it? Chat, you made them gravely ill, and they're going to die. They're, they're shitting and vomiting everywhere. This is pretty funny anyways. It's still pretty funny. Okay, Jaggle, I did it again. Good idea. I can't believe they fell for it again. I couldn't stop laughing. How did they manage to finish the whole thing without realizing it? Jaggle, you're the prankster. Let me read your mind. Oof. Lose 10 faith when falling ill, lose 5 faith when another follower dies, but gains devotion fast. And you are... worshipping, right? Minotaur Monk? Kane's 10 faith with falling ill. They're usually the one that gives me quests. I don't know if I have a favorite follower yet to give a gift. I'm gonna hold the gift for now. Jaggle is the prankster of the group. Okay, how do I make... Um, put, a, put another um, commandment together. I think it's on crown. Yeah. No, it's on cooldown. You can only do it so often. I can actually do it, like, twice. Wait, can I do a sermon? Nope. Twitch chat are deciding your fate. Oh, okay. I'm sure they'll never do anything bad, right, guys? What are my quests right now? Visit Pilgrim's Passage. Look at our new, um... We have, like, beautiful new mining and uh, wood chopping areas. That only one person can use, but they sit in there. I don't know what a tree mine looks like, but it is, apparently looks like that. Can you guys stop pooping everywhere, please? All followers instantly poop or vomit? <laughs> Thanks to... Oh, I can't even pick it up because I'll wake them. It's right in their bed. You made them all shit the bed, dude. And if I touch, if I try to pick it up and sweep under their little blankies, their little poopy blankies, while they're sleeping it and roll around in it, they'll get upset for getting woken up in the middle of the night. Health is at an all-time low in the colony right now. Do you see the red pulsating? Alright, at least you gave me a totem reward. That can't be bad. Okay, so that's a good amount of lumber, actually. Um, I'm gonna build another bed ahead of time until we get shelters. Uh, 
That's 10 coins because I feel like it's going to break and we'll get a new follower anyways. All right, I'm broke. I have no money. That's getting, that's, that's powering up so fast. There are not enough beds for all your followers. I wonder why. Is it because they're all incredibly smelly? And the devs have made it difficult to clean under the bed? Finding the spot... Stop! What, Minotaur Monk? What? Pardon me, leader. I would love some of the flowers from Darkwood Dungeon if you could collect some. <sighs> sure. Nature's necklace. Did somebody drop it? Minotaur Monk is too demanding. I can't clean up Metallus's poop. They're just gonna have to lie in it. Okay. Um. I think we go now. Wait, no, we do a sermon first. For sure. And then we go. Force to eat poop and then lay in it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, vampiric weapons? I think vampiric weapons. I'm gonna stay on that. Vampiric weapons have a chance to heal the wielder using the life force of the slain foe. That sounds too powerful. And then new tier should unlock. Lots of faith from these followers. I mean, devotion. The words are interchangeable to me. Is the cooldown done for this? So close? Okay, I'm still worried about food, but what if we just wait just long enough? Alright, who's not doing- can- oh, six people can- can pray? That's awesome. Durf, you tend to the farms. Um, we got people- is that one wood in there? God, these are slow. Very slow. Alright, Metallus, I want you to help tend to the farm too. No, I can bless them. I don't have time. They're gonna they're gonna starve. We have to just leave. They're tending the farm, it's fine. I can help a little bit. Okay, I'm out. We can go fish now, right? Oh, that's where we're going anyways. Is steam down? I don't think so. Not that I know of. But yeah, you can, like, stick around. There's always more things to do than is reasonable for you to stick around and do. Which is good. Because you got to decide how to spend your time, basically. I can't think of a better person to tend the farm than the guy who both ate and slept in fertilizers. See, like, another thing. They're kind of all starving while I'm here. Gathering basic resources. This is like my Farmville... I mean... <laughs> not Farmville. This is like my Animal Crossing Island adventure. Farmville, Animal Crossing... They both scratch the same itch. <laughs> I 
Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Alright, I don't have to do literally everything. Certainly all the berry bushes. Buy a follower form with money so that you guys can have more skins. Six skins. Well, look what the tide dragged in. What are you just standing there for? Think I'm gonna fish for you? I'm not one of your mindless acolytes. Oh, it's it's literally Stardew Valley. Okay. I mean, if you can't beat them, join them. Mm, not so useless after all. Listen, perhaps we could help one another. I happen to have caught some extremely valuable treasures in my time. Things like a fish that a fish like me, uh, I mean a fisherman like me, has no use for. But to you, well, you look like you like valuable things. Below these waves lurk some of the hardest to catch bees that ever lived, and I've been trying for years. If you can snag them, these treasures are yours. Catch me a crab, a lobster, an octopus, and a squid. Take this as a gesture of good faith between two non-fish friends. Enemies have a chance to drop fish. Supply runs. Well. All right, that was easy. What is that? Big. Two tunas. So, I guess you want to actually throw it next to what you want to catch. Because the shadows seem to be... Those are minnows. Okay, so if we want to catch something big, right there in front of us. And the closer it gets to the shore, done. Oh man, this is a crazy supply of food. I could use some nice fishing music, though. Hey, we got a fish form for the next follower from chat. Now you have to be a fish. Seems fairly forgiving. Okay, the quest was catch a squid, octopus, lobster, and crab. I guess we'll just do that over time. Unless they're all here, which I doubt. Yeah, dude! No, I actually love little fishing minigames. I'm just gonna sit here. Chat, I, I think I've been fishing, like, twice. I remember convincing my parents when I was a kid to buy me a child-sized fishing rod because I didn't understand that you need bait and skill and patience. And, uh, I wouldn't shut up about getting this, like, fishing rod that was, like I said, it was kid size, so it wasn't real. It wasn't from, like, Bass Pro Shop, right? And then, I, I remember throwing it into, like, a man-made lake before. Like, we went camping or something, and I threw it into, like, a man-made lake, and there were no fish in the lake, but they didn't tell me. And they just let me sit there until I got bored. And then I never asked to go fishing again. So, like, 200 IQ genius from their part. I shut up about fishing real quick as a kid when I saw how boring it was. I just threw the line in. With no bait, no nothing, just a hook. That was it. And of course I didn't catch anything. What did you just give me? Oh, he's giving me, if you do all four pieces of the quest, he gives you a different uh, piece of the, the relic. Peer into the darkness? A little lamb all alone. Careful, you never know what lurks in the night. And yet I smell no fear on you. 
How curious. Ah, I see. You wear the red crown. I knew your predecessor. He was a weak and cowering thing. Not like you, I should think. Little lamb, you've made a deal before. How about another? Fear not, I won't ask for anything as valuable as your eternal servitude. I'm hungry, starving, ravenous. I want a fish, a big fish, and I will give you something in return. Do you accept? Salmon, tuna, squid. Here's a tuna. Clever creature. Take this and look away, won't you? I'm afraid I'm a bit of a messy eater. You will not see me here again, but our paths will cross elsewhere in moments of chance in the cover of night. Two pieces. <laughs> Jimmy Shoes contributed to the totem. Thanks, Jimmy Shoes. You did great. Uh, what's going on? Wah! Who dares enter our sacred house of light? Apologies. It's just the lighthouse is getting dimmer, no matter how hard we worship, and the ships keep sinking on the rocks. No ships means no new pilgrims to walk the sacred path. If only our leader was here, she would know what to do. We have not seen her since she went for a walk on the pier late one night. We begged her not to go. We all know of the teeth in the darkness, but she wouldn't listen. Now we have no choice but to pray until the lighthouse is lit once more. All hail the mighty light! <laughs> Fix the lighthouse. Add fuel? Ah! Our prayers have been answered! Thank you, O Bright One, for sending this lamb to save us. Now the pilgrims will return to our shores. For restoring the light, we pledge ourselves to you. We are unworthy servants, mighty lamb. We will pray to you and your great light on this shrine. Please bathe in our adoration. More have pledged themselves to you. Maybe we can go check the lighthouse every so often for free devotion? Guide us, mighty light. Guide us, mighty light. Show yourself light. Oh, they're here. The lamb brought forth the light. We pledge ourselves. Forgive our sins. Oh, what up? Oh, great leader in light. What do you know about tarot? I cannot use them myself, but I find them often walking by the sea. Even though they are half drowned or buried in sand, they do not tear or warp. Isn't that odd? Some say the cards reveal fate. I say the cards are 25 gold each. Interested? I don't have money. 20% more day damage, bonus resources, or fire a projectile when you swing your weapon. That sounds amazing. Okay, what do we got over here, guys? I had a lover once who went to sea and never came back. They used to lay flowers by my door. Flowers suit the young and beautiful best. They have no place with me. Please buy them. They bring only sadness now. Farm plot. Organize your farm with this handy sign post. Stone pillar to raise the flag. Tread with care. It's lava floor. All right, we have to go because everybody's starving to death back home. There's so many things to do. Uh, I'm gonna have to use these fish. Why is Twitch chat deciding my fate? That's a lot of divinity being seen. Send your followers on a holy quest to gather resources if they make it back alive. I like that, but you know what I like more? The prison. For naughty followers. And tier three. Ooh, the refinery. Consecrate resources into big stuff. Chat, what are you deciding right now? Let's 
25 logs and 20 bucks. I can't afford that. We're poor. All right, let's cook them some food. Fish and meat. Tasty fish meal. 10% chance of causing illness. It's okay. 15% chance of pooping instantly to berries, but it'll have to do. Oh, they're so hungry. Faith has been increased thanks to Twitch chat. Good job, Twitch chat. Oh no, we have a full harvest. Jackals become sick, and therefore you lost him, Faith. Who else? Is, oh, well, I assume they're just gonna go rest. Oh, didn't I need to give tin camellia? I have to gather tin camellia. I think I, I think, Minotaur Monk. What do you want? Minotaur Monk always wants something. Do they just pick up a farmer hat and then put it back? They're still so hungry. Please, plant some seeds. There should be multiple people tending to the farm. So I'm not sure where everybody else is. I'm helping. Yes, you're helping. Alright, let's tell Jaggle to go rest in bed. Make at least four meals. There you go. Enjoy, and then sermon time after that. And then we'll go back into the new new dungeon, probably? We could go back to Darkwood, too. Mm, Mario Nintendo, eat up. Are you pooping? Don't poop right there. Disgusting. Praise be! It's time for another lesson from the holy book. You bastards. I should have leveled one of them up first. 19 out of 20. Okay, more on food. Reassure them death is not the end. Prove both labor and love. Obedience or the value of earthly goods. Let's try reassure them that death is not the end. The necessity of sacrifice or the comfort of the afterlife. All cult members will gain the belief in sacrifice. Plus 20 faith when another cult member is sacrificed. All cult members will gain the belief in afterlife and only lose 5 faith when a follower dies instead of 20. Plus 20 faith when another member is sacrificed. It's for the greater good. Do what needs to be done. This trait will be applied to all members of the cult and will change how the faith is affected by events. Very good. No need for a ritual right now. Food's good, faith is good. Goodbye, everyone. Back to work. I'm gonna go do a little poop cleaning. And then we gotta go. Uh. Alright, I know it's a little disorganized. need to plant the red seed, but it looks like we've already planted everything. Alright, the seeds are in there. Um, they'll kind of take care of it. Chat, why is... What is wrong with... Why is everything so disgusting? We can finally clean up this... Chat, I can't clean up this... Oop, there's one secret spot. Shh. What? Excuse me, leader. I just wanted to say that I love you. 
You guys are coming on way too strong here. Habu Dabu, I'm going to build a prison specifically for you. Really sucking up too much. Okay, that's about as clean as it's gonna get right now. Chad, are you pointing at the screen? Where's all the poops? I need a janitor, dude. The cult leader should not be cleaning up everybody's poops. I need to give them an outhouse. Can I even cook any more meals? All right, we need to leave after this. We have to we have to leave them food. Chicken tendies are, are in the fridge. Just heat them up in the microwave kits, okay? I got places to be. Wait, no, we don't go here. Unless we wanted to gamble, but I don't have any money. There's no cash. One of the chains has been ripped away. Let us open the door to the next. We have more than seven followers now. By the way, thanks for the recent subs, New York Texan, NY Texan. Thanks for the fresh prime. Welcome to stream. How's it going? I can't catch anything here, apparently. And again, antagonist, I appreciate the 33 months. If I, I don't think I missed you earlier. Maybe I did. Thanks, both of you. Chat, this is a new dungeon with new enemies, I assume. Vampire Sword 4? Chance to heal the user. We just unlocked vampire stuff. Shoot multiple projectiles that seek out enemies. Entering the lands of the Bishop Hecate, those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. I assume there might be new resources here, too. What's our, uh, ability? Hounds of fate, multiple projectiles that seek enemies. Oh, damn. We're in business now. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose. One sec. First chamber. This does not do very much damage to these nerds. But it is hilarious that they can... Wow, that's pretty good. It's hilarious they can get hit by the uh, traps. This is basically food for us. We are incentivized to go fairly fast. It's a certainly, it feels like a unique mechanic to me. Um, that the people's back in town, you ha you have to like basically rush through the dungeons because they are pooping themselves. They're not eating. Pathetic. I don't remember what your voice was. Pathetic, sniveling, vile puppet. Uh, this, that's the darkest dungeon voice. You have felled the youngest of us. You, you, <laughs> Skywalker. <laughs> Anakin, Anakin. Bring me back for another movie, Anakin. I'm ready. We are the bishops of the old faith. We protect against heresies such as yours. We are the guardians of the true word and we shall not tolerate such blasphemy. 
Your sins are many, and for that your loyal followers must suffer. They shall starve! They're doing that already. You got anything else, Hecate? Oh, it's Metallus, who's been eating shit this entire time. Where, where am I, leader? Metallus is so hungry. They're now starving. What, you... Like, I just started the dungeon. I'm not sure how the frog does damage, ostensibly by jumping. Are you gonna live until I get back, Metallus? I haven't got hit yet. I kinda wish mana was purple instead of red, because when I see it above my character's head, I kinda feel like I got hit. But I didn't. can't see in the tall grass, which is the point. Alright, we just gotta be a little bit aggressive and I guess try and save Metallus from starving to death. The good news is we're not gonna have to fight the ultimate boss yet. Uh, this should just be phase one of that. Weapon damage increase or drop? I, I really like our... Uh, this is a green, too, like a Slay the Spire super version. Three times more fervor? I want to be able to spam that ability. The ability is really strong, actually. Reveal the map. Does it... Does it reveal secrets, too? Is there a way to see the whole map for the area that you're in? I don't see any bonus rooms back there. I hope it reveals the next map. Ooh, resources? A rock with food or a rock with... I don't know what that face is. I mean, a, a shop. <laughs> That's not a rock. A shop with a face or a shop with food? Let's go food. Because we do need lots of food for all the followers. They're starving. Oh, worms. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with... I don't know what the mushrooms do, but I'm gonna get meat. Don't you dare touch my love! I'm sorry, okay? The patrons... The patrons do not have such protection. But the snail does. I bet you can fight these guys somehow. If this is a real roguelite, you can probably, like, fight the chef or some, And he'll just end the run. If I had to guess. Speaking of fighting someone you're not supposed to fight ordinarily, there's still one boss in Hades that I haven't beaten yet. You can probably guess who it is. Alright, we gotta spam the ability. God, three times drops is insane. Wow! That was such a good card. Meg. <laughs> yeah, it was Meg. You got me. It stuns them too a little bit? Did he hit me? Unbelievable. I have a chance at life steal. Are those good or bad? Okay. Don't get cocky here.
first time chatter with a clip too. Very brave. Tentacles shoot a piercing bolt. I mean, it's technically upgraded, but the four directions is nice. But I'm just saying the Hounds of War is like, oh, we do have a revealed map. So is the sword just a fighting room? I wonder how bad our lifesteal is. Like, it's got a proc eventually. One would think. Starvation clip audit. Super dagger with poison, super knockback blast, or touch of Turura. Convoke a violent tentacle e eruption. Eh. Again, I like the hounds. Maybe I like them too much. I'm ignoring all these potential upgrades. They're really not good from close range, though. Okay, I might be dead. Oh, shit! I'm a little beat up right now. I need a heart. This is a difficult room ahead. Alright, I'm just gonna have to spam some, uh, dogs of war. I, got, I gotta beat the new boss with half a heart, so that's on me. Was bad. They're kind of the same color as the floor, though. Kind of like can't fight them. Because as soon as you do, he just spawns more babies. I'm just, I have lifesteal. So, like, the hope is that eventually it procs. I just rolled into him. <sighs> Who am I going to sacrifice to keep going? <sighs> Metallus has been eating shit and is currently starving. I did I haven't had one vampire proc, but I understand it's a very powerful thing. But so far it's been useless. Goes right to Metallus. I gotta sacrifice one of you. I I I gotta keep Abu Dhabu around just to be in the prison. Abu Dhabu won't even give me a full heart and a half. Metallus will give me a full heart and a half. Jackal's been pulling pranks, they get to stay. Goodbye, Metallus. You're probably starving to death anyways. <laughs> Thank you for your devotion. Okay, it's game time. I'm back, baby. And I'm pissed. Dude, those do insane damage. I do not... I haven't been hit yet, okay? It's fine. I cannot kill the egg fast enough. No way. God, that's such a good move.
that shreds him. It sure does. Technically not a loss. Technically not a death. Because I had a beautiful sacrifice to be made. I'll take it. We have too many followers anyways. <laughs> Listen. Why, why get the cool sacrifice perk if you're not going to use it? We could get nine pumpkin seeds, or 15 pumpkins, or a new cosmetic form. I can't get you guys a new cosmetic when you're all starving. Pumpkin seeds, you feed a man... I think the seeds. Ooh, that's so much money. Listen, you either feed a follower once or you feed a follower twice. Those, I think that's the ancient prophecy. All right, let's go home. Oh, that's such a good perk. I'm glad we got that one. We have cleansed the non-believers. Definitely not a no-hit run. Should have I should have abused the uh, spam of the hound ability more. Feed me once, shame on you. <laughs> you see me here in chains, reduced to nothing. But it has not always been thus. I was bound to this wretched place by the bishops of the old faith. They betrayed me and left me to rot. Each of the four chains that bind me are guarded. <coughs> I'm sorry, it's it's really hard being the evil one who waits all the time. I, I really talk like this all the time. I, I just, they're guarded by one of the bishops. I, I really just need to talk like my normal voice. Destroy the bishop and you will break the chain! Break all four and I will be free! I give you life anew, vessel! And now you must repay the debt! You know what must be done! I'm sorry. To defeat the bishops, you will need to become stronger. <laughs> Miss Piggy. <laughs> Eldritch Miss Piggy. <laughs> Dalek voice. Oh, Kirby! To defeat the bishops, you will need to become stronger! Sacrifice a follower, Kirby, to absorb more power! This will aid you in your quest to free me! Sacrifice a follower to grow your strength and unlock new abilities and weapons. Higher level followers will be more valuable when sacrificed. Metallus, come back to life. The one who waits sure has a lot of voices. He has a lot of time and nothing to do. He's just practicing voices while he waits. Ugh. All right, we have a lot of stuff to do. We have so much to do here. First of all, Twitch chat, what did you give your points for? I thought I was hoping for a new follower, actually. I'll take 48 lumber. Back to work. Ah, oh, this is so good. I think we can finally build them, like, permanent shelters. That'll make them happy. Basic decorations requires another inspiration. Uh, the first death. Wait, what the hell? A random follower died thanks to Twitch chat. No, don't sacrifice us. We haven't done anything wrong. How? Oh, Metallus, no, no. Who can I kill? Doesn't matter. Random. It could be anybody. I'm just gonna close my eyes and stab. Thanks. Who did you kill? Durf's Lantern, what? Why are you so angry? My faith is shaken. I can see through your lies. You're a fraud, and I'll tell the others. A dissenter. 
Wow. A follower has begun. Hello, dissenters. This happens when the cult's faith is too low. A traitor is spreading falsehoods about you. Other followers may also be led astray. Re-educate them or put them in prison to bring them back into the loving embrace of the cult. Or just sacrifice them. You make the rules after all. I can't kill three followers in a row. We have so much to do here. So angry. Well, I know what we have to do first. Uh, they're incredibly hungry, which is understandable. I'm working on it. Here's a hearty meat broth for you. I don't, I don't think you want grassy gruel or bowls of poop, so we're gonna have to work a little harder. These are decent meals, though. They're two-star meals. Wow, they're all pissed. Durfs, stop spreading lies, Durfs. Show them the truth and eventually they'll stop dissenting. Hold on. How do you... How do I help build this? Who... Dr. Skelly died for from Twitch chat. gonna bury people like down here faith is at an all-time low why is the hole like this all right where's nerfs Now everyone gather around and laugh! Until they learn from what they've done. A follower has died! Commiserations on your loss. Corpses are not good for sanitation and can cause others to get sick as they decompose. Bury your follower in a body pit or grave to prevent them from going rotten. Of course, that's a lot of meat to just go to waste. I'll bury you because I'm not gonna let Twitch chat both Kill you randomly, Dr. Skelly, for no good reason, and eat you afterwards. We don't eat people that Twitch chat rebels against. Here lies Dr. Skelly. Look what you've done. Okay. Two things. One, there's a lot of puke. Two, we need a new follower. Who is this tree person? Who is this don't hug me, I'm scared character? Now, the very same people who just voted to kill one cultist get a chance to become the next. So tab back in and join. This game is really good so far. It's a little scary. The Twitch chat integration seems both OP and also we're getting the other end of that OP now. <laughs> so I can't complain. How do you know I was tapped out? Because I'm watching you. I can read your mind. As your cult leader. All right. Wow. You guys are more participant than ever. In fact, super invested. Doc DS Jeezy has won the raffle and can now customize their cultists. We did just unlock a new um, fish head, and there's probably some more that haven't been picked yet.
but you can be whoever you want. No pressure. Okay, they've chosen the fish. That's fair. Did anyone choose the pink cat that we unlocked? I don't think so. It'd be nice if it said which ones we haven't used yet. Alright, blue fish, classic color scheme. Nice tattoos. Uh, you are minus five faith when a follower is sacrificed. So, I have decided who I'm going to sacrifice for power. Heals 15% faster when sick and in bed rest. <laughs> Jackal Jackal saw the new fish person and puked immediately. <sighs> okay, hang on. There's a lot of stuff to do. I'm trying to clean up. How's the farm? Oh, the farm is glorious. All right, let's do the sermon first so we can get the faith up. There's a lot to do here, I told, I told you. We're gonna be here for a few minutes. But that's good, because this is, this is the fun part. It's all the fun part, but this is the fun part. So we're down two and up one, so net loss of one. Uh, what is this? Three new curses, which are good. Increase the total amount of fervor you can hold, casting an additional curse. Ooh, mana up. I feel like I haven't even played with all the curses yet, so let's do mana up. Because sometimes you just want to hoard the spell points. The follower must grow, so we can... 26 points is a lot. And we have a new commandment block. Uh, I don't know what these do. After we've done afterlife, I kind of want to poke into all of these. After we had a little dissidence, I think I'm going to teach them the meaning of obedience now. Punish sin or celebrate virtue. Unlock the murder action. A simple solution to many problems, but some followers may find this upsetting if they're awake to witness it. Ascend follower ritual. Perform a ritual at the temple in which you can ascend a follower's spirit to a higher plane of existence. All followers gain loyalty. Hitman. Or a temple ritual. Wait, when it says ascend a follower's spirit to a higher plane, does that mean like a sacrifice? Is this a loyalty sacrifice? Sounds like it kinda. Just ascend the dissenters. <laughs> Hair turns yellow and uh, they yellow a lot. All right, chat. Since you're the will of the people anyways, I'll let you vote. You only get 60 seconds. You better vote quick. Um. There you go. Good luck. Because I guess the benefit of murdering is if you don't have a prison open... If they're causing trouble, if they're spreading dissent, or if they just have bad stats. And you assassinate them at night. But Ascension is a ritual which is going to cost resources and have a cooldown. But it lets us gain loyalty for all followers, which seems really good. Only chat gets to murder chat. Ah. I see how you are. I see how you are. Murder with perks. Mm. And chat has voted 71 to 29%. That is not going to swing for Ascension. But which is more funny? Definitely murder. Definitely murder. There's a cool mechanic, though, where you get an either or. So I think that's really neat. 
Um, sacrifice of the flesh. Sacrifice a follower to grow your strength and unlock new abilities and weapons. <laughs> Throw a feast. Too many people have died to do the sacrifice now. Perform a ritual at your temple in which you can ascend a follower. I think we're going to do a feast today. These are really strong. It's also bones for the ascension. I can't sacrifice another one yet. You woke everyone and disturbed their sleep, but you gave a sermon and a new doctrine's been declared. Their faith is really low. I didn't realize it was nighttime, but you know what? That makes sense now that I'm looking. The next commandment is, uh, I get to kill you whenever I want. Listen, guys. I know this sounds crazy. You've been waiting for me to come down from the mountain for weeks, I don't know, months. But, like, I, I have decided that I get to eat first at dinner, and you all have to sit around and watch me while I eat. Uh, I get to get as much as I want and get seconds if I want. Commandment two, I can kill any of you whenever I want, and it's been ordained by the one who waits. There's not enough beds. Chat! Emergency! The faith has dropped. I don't have enough beds? Okay, we got some back. How much does it cost to do the bonfire ritual? It's just 25 bones and 10 logs. Let's do it. We haven't done this before. <laughs> we did this once. When's the game coming out? I don't know. I would assume noon tomorrow, but I have no idea. Usually it comes out at 12 day of release. It'll probably say on Steam how many hours. Tomorrow if you're American, I guess. All right, how hungry are they? I'm gonna let them get as hungry as possible and then give them a feast. Why are you guys angry? Oh, you leveled up. You interrupted Mario and Nintendo. What level are you, level two? <laughs> I give you my blessing. What? Quest failed? Minus 45? Which one? What quest? Emergency chat. Uh-oh. The flowers? <sighs> it's too early to do feasting ritual. What's the easy way to get... Re-educate or kill the dissenter. Hold on. Everyone's upset. Durf's Lantern is dissenting against your faith and spreading falsehoods. Did you snap out of it? You can only re-educate them once. I'll just build them houses. I'm gonna build them houses so they'll be happy. Uh, we can afford four of these. Oh, I don't, hang on. Okay, we can always move these later. Fixing your beds, okay? Everybody go back to being happy and stuff. Don't, don't have that angry look on your face. I don't want to sacrifice another person right now. You've constructed a new building, you've helped a follower. I gotta clean their poop and feed them. Please feed me. I'm going to. You guys are going to feast today. 
angie work. <laughs> Very angie work. It ta I can almost build as fast as four of my followers. They're puking everywhere. They're so sick. Okay, failing that quest was really bad. We should check to see if there's another quest that we're gonna fail. There's no timer on these. Reeducate, kill Hecate, catch a bunch of fish. Okay, fine. Work and devotion generation reduced by you don't you don't do this. You do a different job. Go help with building. <laughs> Other people are better at devotion. <laughs> Who is this? And what level are you? Jackal Jackal is level three? And I got another commandment. Okay, we've got a few actual proper shelters. Oh, we are stacked on resources in here. Fine, I'll accept your blessing. <laughs> You'll accept my blessing and you will like it. Make you very dedicated to the faith. I think I do have a gift. I need to pick a favorite follower. Wait. Do we level up Habu? Okay. Fine, Habu. I will level you up so we can sacrifice you for more stuff later. We do get more powerful weapons. Rip Dr. Skelly. Who was the first follower? Uh, the first follower was... Minotaur Monk? I think? If I'm not mistaken? Chat, do I have any money in the game? Because I need to build more farmland. And I need to not be the one who harvests all the farms every day. Oh yeah, we got pumpkin seeds. All right, you guys water all that. I'll add some fertilizer. Your followers are starving. Bork is starving. Okay, I don't know if it's time for a feast yet. Do we have anything else we need to do? We do, we have at least one thing. God, these are getting expensive now. All right, we're out of poop. We're out of fertilizer. Chad, I think it's time to feast and then go to the next dungeon. I just need a lot of money. Another game where starving pawns? What else is new? Basically. There's a few people I can bless. <laughs> I require your loyalty. I need to start identifying their level based on the bottom name conventions. Bork, I'm working on it, okay? Who have I not blessed today? I've blessed most of you. It's time. I will provide you with as much food as you can eat. I know times have been tough lately. Completely feel cold hunger and gain 30 faith. <sighs> A bountiful harvest. Mmm, 
Tasty. Your followers are no longer starving. Uh oh. Oh. Goodbye. So we had to use some bones? I don't know what the cooldown. Why are you guys deciding my fate again? Everything is peachy. Perfect faith. We got... It's a clean environment, and you're well-fed. That means I can... I can't go here. Can I leave? I can't leave until you decide my fate. Why? Nintendo gains faith when building better sleeping quarters and is gullible. You know what, Mario Nintendo? I'm going to give you a gift. Because you have good traits and stats. What? What? A buried follower has been resurrected thanks to Twitch chat. Excuse me? Chad moves in mysterious ways. Okay. We chat giveth and wait, chat taketh away and chat giveth. Um Okay then. Off we go. Before nighttime. I want to go gamble, but I keep spending all my money. I don't have any cash. What do you guys have for me? Oh, Lem, for the light! May I beseech you once more for your aid? The lighthouse is in disrepair. We need to replace the crystals that reflect the light out to sea. Would you... Could you... Find such material? We know not where to look, but should you succeed, we'll give you an offering in return. Green crystals. Oh, God. Why did I get the littlest fish out of the bunch? Look at these units. All right, this doesn't. This actually isn't a waste of time because it's gonna. We're gonna eat this. Ooh, that one's small. This is food for the following. It almost feels bad if you don't get every single fish. We also kind of have a fish quest. I'm not going to sit here and get every single fish. You're never going to run a dungeon. I am totally going to run a dungeon. I'm going to do three more fish. Luckily, fishing is faster than Stardew. Yeah. There's a dungeon in this game? No. Not really. I can't wait until I can get a cultist to go fish for me. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. How do I not get the big ones? Minnows, minnows, minnows. There we go. No, what? It's only minnows biting. Squid. I don't know where the 
crabs are, the other guys. That's enough. That's enough. Let's go. Arathon, thanks for the sub for 35 months, says, Blessed be the cult of... What were we again? Big E. We're the cult of Big E. Listen here, Durfs. If you don't want to be sacrificed, you better figure it out. Have you still not figured it out? I don't have enough money to build you guys anything. Uh, followers can leave offerings in your honor. Send, I gotta send you on holy quests. To gather food. Demonic summoning circle. Possess a follower with the spirit of a demon so they can join you on the next crusade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. Ding! Prismist, what's up? Thanks for the 15 months sub. Getting comfy in chat. Let's make our run more powerful. New curses for the Crusades. And new tier. Oh, you guys being leveled up is giving us a lot more of this. More tablets. Oh, but what now? Is death the end? Food? The value of earthly goods? I don't know. I kind of want to do one from each just to start. Have them proffer both labor and love. Or possessions. Let's do work and worship and see where it goes. What makes a virtuous follower? All cult members will gain the faithful trait, generate 15% faster devotion, or industrious, work 15% faster. Because more devotion is great, but only if you're here to gather it. So I'm actually thinking just work faster. Because when we're gone, eventually we're going to have, like, work sites and stuff for everything. Back to the mines. Alright, very good, everyone. You gave a sermon. A new doctrine has been declared. Indeed it has. Alright, you guys should be able... Why are they having such a happy time outside the church? <laughs> Meet and greet after. Services. Um, Alright, I'll make you guys some food before I go. Because I did just pick all that. I'll cook you four meals. Have fun. Alright, I'm out. Post-church chat. Wait, this is not the place. The dungeon's this way. Alright, we're going to... back to the new place? Onura? Ooh, this is new. Tempest Gauntlets, an iron fist which none can escape. Spiked gloves, weak at first but devastating on a complete combo. Projectile that creates the path of the righteous, Black Icker. So final final hit is the most powerful. Wait, which way did I I'm stuck on the damn wall? Oh, that just like shoots a I don't know how I feel about this, because you have to stand still. So if you stand still too long, just to do the third attack, it's a bit risky, isn't it? I shouldn't have started this yet. Okay, we're not gonna. St <laughs> I don't want to know what that is yet. I take a quick BRB, okay? I take a quick BRB. I've been out of water for a minute.
There appears to be a summoning circle in this room. And I'm also hungry. So, I'll be back in just a couple minutes after I give the dog a snack. But thanks again, Arathon and Prismas, for the subs. Welcome to a really fun game. Cult of the Lamb's been awesome so far. Uh, we're going to come back and play more. I'll be back shortly.
Hey, what's up? Hello, gamers. I have bad news. Um, I talked to your stream mom on the break, and she told me to kill more followers. So, this is, uh, just a heads up. Some of you are not the favorites, apparently. Okay, now what's the bad news? The bad news is I'm back. And I'm ready to game some more. I'm addicted. Oh, what is this? You guys are still contributing to the totem, huh? Thanks. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's them. I don't remember any of your voices. Five points to a pentagram. Five portents of doom. Five siblings to the breast. Five gods in one tomb. Kazimala. Shamura. We did not wish to bother you, but... Shambura, the red crown grows stronger by the day. Already it has succeeded where he has failed before. Leshy has been slain. Five becomes four, becomes three, becomes two, becomes one, becomes nothing. Shamura rests. We will deal with this, won't we, Kalama? Yes, sister. Of course, sister. You there, vessel of the red crown, bow to me, or you will regret it. No. You will bow, or I will make you. Uh, okay. That just made the run more fighty. This was already going to be tough, because I feel like this weapon is tough. No bow. Mushroom? Please don't hurt us. We are simple followers, lost in an unfamiliar place. The great Zozo sent us to find more of his beloved menticide mushrooms. He cares only for mushrooms. His madness grows. I'm sorry, I had to do that. But when we arrived, we realized we don't know how to find menticide mushrooms, and now we are too afraid to return empty-handed. Okay, that's just some guy in a booth going, Peter Papa, Una Kaka, Ina no 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 wawa. Like, it takes as much effort to do that noise as to read the dialogue. Anyway, we have to bring mushrooms, but we found a new place. What if I kill you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Just give me your mushrooms. Sorry. Stay in your tents. Oh, we got new songs. Not sure how I feel about that. You gotta walk through it for it to be good. And if they don't walk through it, it's not good. Instagram Bam Ham Sam. Thank you, Yield Carps. Thank you. That was a classic uh, sub message that I'm sure took you all night. Thank you for coming and sharing it. Lamb clan, Twitch chat be damn. Twitch chat be like, damn. Poison to struck enemies or drop three times more fervor? I say let's invest in the fervor and then um, go for a swap. Like try and swap the power. A 
Okay, so that move is actually ex probably extremely good if you're fighting a big doesn't really move guy. Which I don't know how often that happens to us, but... Cures? Curses? I always read that as cures. Cons Ooh, this is the curse build. We just have to get the best curse in the game. 25% less mana. We generate extra mana, and we have up to five shots. So... It don't really matter where we go. Is that money for food? What is that? What is the circle into food? Or hearts into card? I don't know what this stands for. We have to pick it eventually. Just to see what everything does without just asking chat. So if you're wondering why I don't stick around and uh, <clears throat> blow everything up, I just got hit. I just got hit. Did I get hit? No. I mean, I got hit like, yes, I did actually. I got hit three times. I'm just gonna die. Unless I sacrifice somebody. I don't like this we I like my uh, perks, but I hate my weapon and my special. But you can also just dodge. Because the special takes so long. Like, you have to stand in place after you drop it for an inordinate amount of time. You received a tarot card. Did you do this? 10% chance of gaining a, a spirit heart when killing an enemy? Chat's trying to save the run. Shit is rigged. Rigged. We didn't vote for that? That's not what won at all. Sure you sure did. Demon won. What were you guys voting for? Two seconds of invincibility deflect projectiles causing damage? Hold to aim an explosive projectile. Chance to heal the wielder using the life force of a slain foe. The vampiric axe is too slow to be good, I think, but the damage is nice. I think let's go invincibility so I can actually use my... My primary weapon. We didn't vote to kill that dude either. Demon won, but it gave you a card. Chat says uh, I might not have a mechanic yet, so it might not do anything, so it might have defaulted to something that can happen in my game. Wait. I got a health. I think I did get hit though. <laughs> I, the invincibility needs like a beeper, to be honest. I just need to spam the hell out of it. I got one and a half hearts. Watch out for the bomb. Ooh, don't do that. Okay, we got back to one and a half hearts. Dude, 10% chance to get a spirit heart is so good. Thanks, Twitch chat. You guys are so nice. Pretty sure pooping and vomiting can happen, which is what we voted for earlier when the guy died. Well, here's the thing. Don't be afraid to be bad. 
You don't always have to pick the good thing. Pick the thing that's right. You'll know in your heart when you see it. Um, I could try resetting. I don't know how to reset it. I could try restarting the game after this. See if the votes matter. Work war. Uh, who did this? Master of the Art? Overall weapon damage increase by 50%? Chat, thank you. Lose red heart, gain a tarot card. That's probably what that was from. I don't think that was from you. God, the invincibility just lets you do whatever you want. I can get the full rotation out. That scares me every time. It looks like a bomb. <sighs> Knock enemies back while damaging them or s swing with intent. This is just an incredible amount of damage. That has to be better. It's much faster, but this is just more consistent damage. But what if I want to be helpful? I said, do what you think feels right. That would fall under the same category. Who the hell? Am I poisoned? What is going on in this room? I have half a heart. I can't hit them, dude. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That room was probably the hardest one yet, just in terms of how much stuff there was. Sacrifice. No, I have one full heart. That's all I need. I got. I gotta just spam the hell out of invincibility. That's all I need, chat. All I gotta do is just be invincible forever and never get cocky, it's fine. Chat, I appreciate it if you stop watching other streamers who have more advanced game states than I have, and then coming back into my stream where I'm at an earlier part of the game and then not being confused why I'm not doing things that are not physically possible in my game yet. That'd be great, thanks. Alright, we got a sp half a spirit hard left. Uh, one of these directions is a tarot. There we go. 10% chance to crit when attacked. 10% chance of negating damage. 10% dodge. I'd rather have 10% just do damage. Yeah, Spirit Heart is the reason why we're still, like, here. I hope it lasts. Okay, you have to actually hit things. Bastards. Why don't they get stunned? I have half a heart because skeletons are immune to uh, all forms of CC. Not all forms. <sighs> the flock is ready. A bed has collapsed. Acquire the skull necklace. Follower will live in a naturally long life, double what would usually be expected. I wish I could give that to someone and then sacrifice them. DSGZ is dissenting against your faith and spreading falsehoods. <sighs> We're having problems. We're having some dissent. We're having some dissenters. Perfect. 
perfectly placed mosaic floor patterns. Beautiful. Okay, all I gotta do is beat the boss with half a heart. It's fine. I'm already picking who I'm gonna sacrifice. I'm already deciding who to sacrifice in my head. Minotaur Monk is starving. <laughs> this is less than ideal. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I just need that 10% proc. That's all I need. No chances. No 10%. I'm still here. Barely. I don't think I can get rid of invincibility. Shoot three projectiles at once, though. God. Vampire axe with slightly more damage. Okay, well, we just have to pray. I don't- I've never seen the actual heal yet. That was a surprise room. I just X- <laughs> Wrong button! We're good. Enemies have a chance to drop a fish. How cute. Thank you. This is the- this is the- this is the boss. I have half- I have one hit and I'm dead. I'm dead. I got hit by one little red guy. <sighs> one little red guy. Which one are you? DSGZ is spreading descent. It's perfect. Sorry, DSGZ. But you should have thought twice before you started spreading lies about me. That's new. Okay. Done. All it takes is one annoying red guy. Brought it back around. I don't like having to have sacrificed one of the non-believers, but at this point, I'm happy to just not reset the entire dungeon. I'll take it. <sighs> Eight stone, a big gift, or some more pumpkin seeds. We gotta get... I'm gonna take the gift this time. And we completed um, another tablet. We got two out of four for this one. Heretics defeated. But at what cost? I don't know. I like that. Um, very hard. It feels like 
a fine difficulty. I don't expect this game to beat my ass down. It's just supposed to be difficult but fun. And I think so far it is achieving that. Do you not worship me? Do you not give offerings in hopes of gaining my favor? When you return to your court, you shall find a new offering chest. There you can provide offerings that I, in my generosity, shall turn to gold, so that you might strengthen the cult. But I am not easily satisfied. The same gift offered too frequently will cause the price to be lowered. Yet fear not, over time it will grow in value once more. I am the stock market. I am the one who waits. Economy God. Okay, we're back. God, I'm so glad I got the sacrifice perk. Like, honestly, it's been so good. Oh no. What are you guys voting on now? One, you're starving? Like, everybody? Don't worry, I got you. Eat up, everybody. Does Durf's Lantern starve while they're here? <laughs> Have you seen the light, Durf's Lantern? They have stopped dissenting and are now released back into the wilds, just in time for bed, as it happens. Um, I hope there's enough beds. Uh, guys! What? I- they just came out of the stocks! And you killed them on the spot? Instant- <sighs> They became too enlightened so they had to die. I see how it is. You didn't want them to stop dissenting, huh? It's bugged, we didn't vote for that. Okay, well, let's, don't ruin a good clip with your f facts and logic, okay? I finally understood and now I am ruined. Uh... Yeah, I'm still connected. Here's what I can do. If you give me just a sec, I'll try and like do um, a reset of the thing. I'll like sign out and sign back in. Okay. And then I'm gonna try just disabling and re-enabling the extension. I don't know how else to fix it. And there's not there's literally nothing else I can do configuration wise to like turn it off and turn it back on again. So that's all I can do. Just recode the entire extension. Cause it's been working before, right? Hey, what's up, Avic? How are you, dude? Uh I actually got to enjoy watching a good bit of the stream yesterday. Cause I woke up too early this morning and I finally uh, hooked up the TV, have the PS5 working next to the couch, it's all cozy and I was up really early this morning and I was like just hanging out on the couch I finally, chat, Twitch chat this is important, I finally got to be the guy who fell asleep to another streamer stream I was still really tired and I was like I feel like putting on a stream because I, I don't feel like watching um, like a movie or a TV show so I watched like 45 minutes of the after I raided yesterday and then got food and then came back. And it was really weird because uh, at one point you were like, hey, so it's Alex if you're still here. And I was like, I'm still here. I'm, I'm here. But it's a VOD and I can't answer the question now. Did you get streamer dreams? But anyways, I was I was enjoying because I'm still really into um, 
Cult of the Lamb's been two thumbs up. Very fantastic. And uh, Farthest Frontier's really good too. And I was like, I need more Farthest Frontier. So I, wa I wanted to watch. I actually learned a good deal. Um, I was enjoying watching the barnyard shenanigans because I learned about how a little bit more about how the barns worked. And the, I didn't realize that cattle and stuff would kind of have more cattle babies on their own. So that was cool. And I was watching you uh, move the grazing pasture around. And that was informative because I still don't know how that works. It was informative that I need to figure out how that works. So I hope you figured it out. Um, and there was something in particular. I'm trying to remember. There was one thing that I was like, oh, wow, I didn't realize that. And I should have written it down. I'll probably remember next time I play Farthest Frontier. Because there was at least one tactic or strategy that you were using. That I was like, that's genius. And now I don't remember what it was. I'll remember it once I start playing the game again. My brain is mush. But anyway, I enjoyed myself. Glorious leader, the base is an eyesore. We need beauty. Let us build decorations. Okay, I can do that. Faith is very low because I let them go to sleep. Forgettably amazing. Well done. Clearly it wasn't genius enough. There's just so many mechanics in that game that are so deep that it's difficult to keep track of everything. I feel like I'm constantly scrambling in Farthest Frontier, clicking on buildings to be like, oh yeah, I need to do this. Oh, how could I have forgotten that? Oh. But anyways, obviously Avic was last seen playing Farthest Frontier, streamed yesterday for a good while, and recommend you check him out if you haven't already. Very enjoyable. So they want to build decor. I have a lot of money right now. We have a new faith building. The missionary building? So we need to save 40 bucks at least. Oh, uh, God. I have to go back and watch to remember what it was. Was it scamming the merchants out of money? No. I did know about that. The one thing I did is um, I took your advice of leveling up the market as soon as possible. And that was a huge deal. Just getting more taxes. It was a literal game changer in terms of how much money you end up making. I'll build the DLC items because I can. These are just the $5 decorative DLC. I want to rearrange the huts so they're not so close together. I feel like this is a good farm structure. It's getting a little crowded over here. What are the other ones? But yeah, I was like, no wonder you got so much further than me in your game and was like, I have no problems. You've taken too many people. Because <laughs> when I upgraded to market tier two, it was like, oh, I can just win. I can, if not win, then it's like, I can guaranteed not go broke. Because now I have so much range. Because when the market has that much more range, it's so much easier to get the buildings uh, to have enough beauty to uh, rank up on their own. <sighs> that looks good. But the, my new town, I think, is just head and shoulders better. than the first town I was doing, for sure. Probably gonna have to move all this, but I like decorating the farm area. So while they're asleep... Alright, this is a big resource. Investment, but it's worth getting them all to shelter so they don't... Uh-oh. Yeah, and this is good. So they don't all break all the time. That was super expensive, but worth it. We can also sell stuff now. We killed the dissenter, so that's not an issue. Hmm. 
But if you guys have any other pro tips for Farthest Frontier for next time I play, I feel like it was something crop related. Oh, I did have a question for you. How did you get uh, your arbors up to 100% fertility? Because uh, that was, that was going to be something I asked you. Maybe it was something like that. I could just build more stone mines and lumber yards. We're definitely going to need more. I need, to, I need to make sure I have enough money for the missionary, yes. That's the one thing I have to get. So that's 40 bucks. I have plenty of logs and money. This building lets me send my followers on an adventure. I feel like the missionary near the stock makes a lot of sense. I'm glad the game pauses while you're in this. I put it just next to the temple, but I feel like just up here next to the stocks is good too. I'm thinking another, like we're probably gonna need like three stocks at any given time, because that's just aesthetically pleasing as well. We'll start here. They fertilize the area they graze. I was fortunate where I, oh, okay, sorry, I read ahead. I was fortunate where I placed them, basically built it in a pre-existing forest. But set your beefs to graze where you plant the fruit trees. Oh, that is genius. Did I just delete Faith because I kicked them out of bed because I'm trying to upgrade them? To a shelter? Okay, we're gonna have to do a sermon, like, now. But that's good to know. So I was worried, like, I didn't actually get to the point where I had cattle in Farthest Frontier, but my concern was that the cattle would eat everything in the area that they grazed. So, like, if you put them in an area with, like, herbs and mushrooms and all that, I assume the resources still stay where they're supposed to. Very angy work, yes, but they are enjoying having the shelters put up, so we're just going to have to give them a sec to collect themselves. And I need to go get their devotion. So they can go back to de devoting themselves. Alright, I did a lot of the work for you. Chat, what'd you give me? I was hoping for a new follower, but I'll take wood too. And 70 of the good stuff. I love, actually, just the cultist interactions and them just doing everything, chatting, talking. Not puking, though. Dr. Skelly, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Don't be so mad! Wow, you did it? Truly, you are without flaw. I am grateful, great leader. Um, I got the decorations for you. And Minotaur Monk is level 3. <laughs> Dude on table in Riften. Okay. <laughs> Please spare me. Chat, you're up! <sighs> Time to click up back over onto the screen to try to get in the game. Guy waiting for you to click him in Riften. We gotta fix Durf's lantern after chat unceremoniously accidentally killed them. It's getting a little later, so I'll say 150 people is a good enough number. So I expect more participation. I clicked. I'm not gonna in raffle till I see 150. Those are the rules. No shortage of meat for the grinder. I mean, there's, there's definitely a lot of willing participants, yes. How do I participate? First, have um, a computer. I would say that would be step one. 
And good job. Feistel is now designing a character. Step two, have a mouse. Yes. That's a good point. Whichever one looks good to you. The odds of it being identical to someone else's slim, hopefully. Yeah, whoever gets picked gets to make their person. Ooh, we haven't seen that one before. That one is new. Fancy. Blue Cthulhu Bat. All right, Feistel, are you good? Gain 10 faith when falling ill. Your work and devotion speeds reduced by 10. That's not good. But also you're faithful, so that makes up for your slothiness. Wait, this is, why does it say DSGZ? Haunted. Actually rigged. That's who I sacrificed off screen. There might be a bug in the Twitch integration. <laughs> Feistel. Feistel might have been baited. What's funny is I actually can't change the name now. But if I can change the name of the next one, I'll try to make it the way that you had it. But you just won't. We'll s New raffle. I can't actually click it. I can't undo. It's locked in. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry if I saw. I sacrificed DSGZ and they found a way back into the game. I feel my bones creaking and my sight fading, yet my heart sings, knowing I may have spent my life in your service, O oh mighty lamb. Minotaur Monk, why are you... You're old! Minotaur Monk is ancient! I am too old and frail, great leader. I have but a few days left. Come, my children. Let us hear the good word. We are gathered here today for great purpose. A purpose much, much greater than ourselves. I will assure you of life after death. Lay the dead to rest, or their service is not yet over. Perform a ritual that allows you to bring a dead follower back to life? Perform a ritual at your temple to conduct a funeral for a recently passed follower to gain 20 faith. I mean, back to life is probably better than 20 faith. I don't know, maybe faith becomes harder to come by. I declare it! But more importantly... Oh man, everything costs bones. <laughs> Thanks! I'm allergic to everything costing bones. <sighs> but chat... Would you rather sacrifice our eldest for better abilities and weapons or to increase the loyalty of all the followers chat wants to ascend okay fine I like how it picked you. Wait, no, it didn't. You were just the last one to put your thing on. Remember, for 19 days, you're going to die at 45 years old. <laughs> Up 30%? 
Gather round, Minotaur Monk. We'll reach the heavens beyond. Go, my faithful. You won't be in pain anymore. <laughs> Chat, we need more bones, dude. I'm doing the ritual of resurrection. I'm gonna bring Durf's back. What if we have two DSGZs? But they're so angry. Durf's deserves to come back. With no strings attached. Metallus is too old. Well done, everyone. Minus 200 bones. You gave a sermon. You performed the resurrection ritual and brought Durst back to life. That lost us some points. Okay. We got a lot of jobs to do now. We have much to discuss. Because we have a whole new building. We sacrificed Minotaur Monk. Minotaur Monk walked out? Did they? Do you see them? Was it their spirits that guided us? You see them on the map? So many level ups! Alright, let's keep them very faithful, very loyal. Thank you, Bork. Even Habu. Habu, how are you feeling today? Habu, I give you my blessing by fulfilling my promise. You imprisoned a loyal follower who was not dissenting, minus 15. That's what you think. Oh. <laughs> it was worth it, I'd do it again. I'm still here in spirit. Thank you, Minotaur Mom. Durfs, how does it feel to be free? Oh. <laughs> and to level up immediately. Alright, who have we missed? Bork? Did I interrupt Bork? I'm sorry, Bork. Okay, we already got Bork. Dr. Skelly. I like that their eyes glow when they're ready to level up on their own. That's very nice. Oh, we got the cell box. Jaggle Jaggle, our resident prankster. Mario Nintendo is ready? Damn, we got a lot. We have room for two of these guys. You imprisoned a loyal follower who is not dissenting. Read mind. Doesn't seem to care that much. They're just trying to get me to... I know how you can, um... I know how you can serve us. Abu Dabu. Why don't you prove your worth? Why don't you show us what you're made of by being a missionary for our great peoples? <sighs> you are a low level, but you have an 80% chance of getting money and 87% chance of getting meat. Why don't you go... Wait, he has a reward? I knew you could do it. You are truly divine. <laughs> what was the quest? I don't know. I imprisoned you. What was the quest, chat? <laughs> I don't know, but he's so happy about getting released. Go get meat for us. Oh, the decorations. Yes. If you are, um... 
Going to earn your place here, Havadabu. Give us a bounty of meats. Ooh! The Demonic Summoning Circle possess a follower with the spirit of a demon so they can join you on the next crusade. That sounds fabulous. Chat definitely wanted to see that. That sounds like hard work. Maybe I stay in prison. No. You go. You go. You have work to do. Okay, I may have missed one of you, but that's fine. Where did the mines in the treehouse go? I see. They're gone. Okay, uh... I have 50 bucks. Let's let's start getting some resource gathering. God, these are expensive. 30 gold each. Let's see what we can sell. Before we do that, there's food. So it seems like they have a timer. They run out after a while. I do I do wish there was a different button for harvest. That way I don't accidentally, like, talk to people or interact with the environment. This is probably the best song. We should also probably make more farm area. It's more work, but it's we need the food. Pumpkins are new for us. Mario Nintendo is starving, and of course you go to sleep while you're starving. Very good. <sighs> Cult of the Lamb version of Yeah Yeah Yo. You do kind of have a point. It is kind of like that, actually. Because this structure is only built once. All right, the summoning circle. I feel like the summoning circle goes well near where... Like, probably just up here, close to where we leave. I don't know. I want some decorations in here, too, because I like the way the farm's turning out. Eventually, we're going to fill in a lot more space. That's fine. Okay, let me see what we can sell. Berries for two bucks. Pumpkins for three bucks. Some flowers. Wood's worth one. Berry bush seed's worth two. Different fish. Squid's worth 20 bucks. I'm sure squid's valuable, but we can go fishing. Follower meat. <laughs> Follower meat. Okay, we have enough to do some more mines. I hope they make more than they... Yeah, they definitely do. It's because it's 15 wood just to generate the lumber yard. Cool if we could do two of each of these, but I'm, I can't afford that right now. All right, there you go. How about more farmland? Okay, we got still quite a bit of space left. One away from finishing this in its entirety.
All right, I gotta feed them first. They're all incredibly hungry. Let's make them a few berry bowls. Some pumpkin soup is a 5% chance of illness and diarrhea. That's a chance I'm gonna take. And we'll see how that treats them. Berries first. Then some pumpkins. Eat up, everybody! It is a veritable feast. So, they're getting to- Yes, DSGZ, who's not even supposed to be here because you stole Feistel's spot? Please, Lita, there are some folk who are starving and have no place to call home. Let them join the cult. Good news, Feistel. You have another chance. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. All right, we gotta bring Feistel in. They won fair and square. This is not gonna have a Twitch name. Well, this is a good opportunity to check and see all the forms. We have elephant, uh, kitty, mouse, there's a cow, bunnies. There's all sorts. Okay, so you were... I was like, oh, I haven't seen this. It was a blue Cthulhu. Like, it's one of these. I don't know if you had a tattoo, but I'm giving you the tattoo. All right, it was like that. Gain 10 faith when falling ill. On recruiting follower, immediately lose 10 faith. You're out. I'm gonna sacrifice you pretty quick. I'm literally about... I'm recruiting you, you hypocrite. The only follower who's not Twitch integrated. I hope it has their name. Feistel, we can't see your name, but we know you're there. It's the best I can do. The best I can do. I tried. No! The next raffle I did! It came back to you! It remembered! You were queued somehow. Now there's two of you. <laughs> uh, on recruiting this follower, gain 10 faith. Gain faith when building better sleep quarters, but generates devotion slower. Now there's two of them! This, the pendulum is really swinging back in the other direction to try to make things right. Listen, I know they're starving, okay? Don't you think I know that? Here's a nice meager mixed meal, because those are better. They have a 10% chance of increasing loyalty. Deadly dish, 75% chance of the follower dying instantly, 100% chance they drop valuable resources. Damn. Okay, there's actually probably need to cook more than this. Tasty fish meal. 24% chance of dropping valuable resources. 15% chance they vomit instantly. There you go. Alright, there's plenty of food out there. I gotta go clean up your poops. They got a lot to build, and we need uh, houses for them, do we not? Starting with a sleeping bag. We actually have exactly 11 houses, but what if one of them breaks? I am eventually gonna change this to make it look like a proper city, but that's gonna be an Animal Crossing problem where we're moving everything around, because right now I just need... I don't have the ability to move stuff, so I'm not gonna get too picky. very clean. Extremely clean here. I want to fertilize the pumpkins. 
Well, just fertilize everything if I can. Did we already do a sermon today? Nope. Because we got new people. We got like 11 people. Uh, that's a tear up. Permanently gain half a heart. I need it. I feel like it's been getting harder for sure. Now we need 50. But the higher the level they get, the um, more they give. On cooldown. That's on cooldown for like three seconds. I don't have enough bones. We have 69 bones. I'm gonna bring you guys all back because uh, uh, Twitch chat are deciding your fate. Uh oh. We're gonna see if it actually works this time. Summon a demon. Automatically collect dropped fervor. When it says summon a demon, am I sacrificing you? Because it looks like you're being converted into something. It's a ritual circle. Gain more fervor, melee attacks, closest enemy every few seconds. Wait, there's two Feistals. Why don't we just get rid of fake Feistal now? <laughs> Explosion damage, shoot a projectile every few seconds. DSGZ is also fake DSGZ. We need, we need to do some purges. I think range is better. DSGZ was sacrificed for being a imposter. Imprison DS destroy Feistel. <laughs> Let's see what this does. All structures have been instantly built thanks to Twitch chat. Um, did you guys do that? Or did you vote for something else? Alright, we do have people who can take care of the farm plots while we're gone. It's just not gonna be that fast, but... I don't need to worry about it, really. What's up, DSGZ, the fake one? I don't know what quest they did for you. All the options were stinky, so we don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, refinery? <gasps> I can go up to the next tier, or I can, I gotta get everything eventually. This leads to cheaper rituals. That's gonna save us a lot of bones. The cleansing fire will draw forth more devotion. A place for followers who are not worshipping to pray throughout the day to deposit devotion. Ooh. I think let's just 100% all this stuff before we move up a tier, because I think these are good. And it seems like it's going up fast. And my, my thing is just invest in more devotion. That more devotion to get more devotion. Stop right in front of me, DSGZ, and then you laughed? I want to play this game. Why is it not out for me? Um, because it comes out on the 11th. Probably around noon. I have a preview build. Because the developers love me more than you. But they trust that by letting me play it early, it might encourage you to want to buy it or wishlist it. Um, so I can have fun. And you can have fun vicariously through me. We have to wait an entire day? You have to wait like, I don't know, like 12 hours? I don't know when it comes out.
Tox, what's the meta progression in this game? This is part of the meta progression. It's got a lot of meta progression, actually. You're, what we've been doing for like the last 20 minutes is the meta progression, in fact. Um, so there's dungeons where you fight and dodge and fight bosses. And then in between that, you manage the cult and all of its buildings and followers. So the cult in between runs is the meta progression. So like, since we are leveling up followers' faith, they help us complete these um, decrees that we can make, where we can choose one of five different divisions. So this one's uh, food-related, death-related, uh, worship and work-related, obedience-related, and earthly goods. The earthly goods is the only one we haven't done. And so when you pick one, there's four basically level ups that you can do for each one. You'll probably do all of them. And then the fun part for me is you get to choose one thing or the other. So there, even though there's only four choices per pentagram thing, there's you whatever you pick is at the exclusion of the other thing. So these will change what you do during runs and between runs. So I can now either extort followers, collect money from them once a day, or bribe followers, giving them money. Bribe a follower with three times gold to increase their loyalty. I'm gonna extort them. So that means I can't bribe them, basically. I don't know about the multiple save files, but it seemed like the main menu did have like a new game or a continue. I thought. You should be able to tell from the main menu, I hope. But yeah, each of the five doctrines, you're kind of like making a series of choices that'll shape how you play your game. And then besides that, uh, you're also unlocking rituals to perform that can do things like sacrifice followers, feed them when they're starving. Wait, which rituals were ready? I don't have enough materials to use them anyways. But then you build buildings, um, your followers will like pray at the shrine or the totem. And then when you collect their devotion, the meta progression is each time you complete a devotion level, you get to unlock a new building and there's tiers of buildings and then the buildings are your progression. So like, we have the offering statue. We don't have enough money for it, but we just unlocked the ability to sell stuff so I can maybe get some. But yeah, uh, you do a surprising amount of automation. Like the, the cultists are getting wood for us up here. They're getting stone for us. They're chopping trees when the trees grow. They're doing everything at the farm except for gathering the finished resources. Um, so they kind of like help out in a lot of ways. And you can also tell them what to do if there's something specific you want them to do. I'm just gonna sell the dang squids. Cause that's the most like instant cash. And then we can just go fishing. And there's a map where you can do other stuff. Uh, it's a, it seems like it's gonna be a small game, but a very big game. Let's just say like, it feels like it's a deep game that's not gonna take super long. Cause there's like, I think there's four dungeons plus one based on what I've seen. And we've beaten one dungeon and we're approaching the boss of the second dungeon. But it seems like a good amount of content. Like, there's still a lot left to do. Okay, 20 logs, 10 stones, and 30 bucks. And this is a an offering shrine. Uh, but this isn't a game that I think is going to challenge you in the way that Hades did. It's more, it seems like more of an experience that I will be content with once I have beat it once. And that will be enough for me, which I think is totally fine. Uh, I don't think it's going to have the endless replayability of some other roguelites, but this is better, in my opinion, for this type of game. Like, I would, so far, just based on six, almost seven hours, I would recommend this heartily because it's just so charming and the mechanics are fun. I don't know where to put this because I don't know where it looks good. I do think outside the missionary church is it's something that makes sense. It depends on what this building ends up being. But we cannot, chat said we can move stuff later, so. 
Maybe just right behind the church along the path. I like that. So, like, I queue up a new building and followers who aren't doing anything, for example, will uh, help us go build, except now it's sleepy nighttime. So they're gonna go sleep instead. Followers wear robes. Yes, they do. Um, they didn't help tend the farm as much as I wanted. I might have to assign more followers to the farm because there's, the farm is really large now. Because this is kind of a pain in the ass to manage at this point. But we have to get to the point where it's more automated. Which is going to be tier 3. Alright, I want to make sure they're at least all watered. Aw, look at them all sleeping inside their little tents. Did, um, Habu Dabu come back? No, they're on a mission for meat right now, though. All right, you guys can have a berry bowl, two pumpkin bowls, and then I gotta leave to go quest. I don't know if that's gonna be enough for you. I assume we'll just take this with us automatically because we have our, our new demon familiar. I could also go fish. <sighs> Chat, do I have money? We haven't been here in a while. You know where we're going. A new animal form your followers can take, the general. Where's the other guy? Ten gold. I'm in. Okay, this is Knuckle Bones chat. If you join late, you didn't get to see the adventures earlier. Don't worry about what happened. It doesn't matter. The short version of the rules are, if you have matching dice in the same column, they multiply. Otherwise, they're additive. Whoever has the most points at the end wins. Placing a die on a column that your opponent already has the same number on that same column will delete their dice of the same number. So we're trying to strategically leave spaces. Oh, see, he just deleted my four by playing a four there. Ones are the worst you can roll no matter what. There's not really much you can do about it. There might be a better place for it to go. I think... He's got fours in two spots. Let's delete the middle four. A six. Another one! What am I supposed to do with this? I don't want two ones to be stacked. I'm gonna put that on the four stack. He's just rolling so much better than me. A two. I can make four. Wow. actually became eight somehow. Oh, it's the sum times the number? The sum times the number of dice there are? I don't know. Okay, he's got a six, a five, and a four. That's actually like a lot of high numbers, but if I delete the four, I give him a chance to roll a five or a six and multiply it. But if I put it here, I fill up, he can do whatever he wants in the middle row and I'm stuck. So I think I actually do need to delete this tile here, take points away, and then try and just end the game fast. Dude. What the hell, game? Why did I bet on- why did you guys let me bet on this? supposed to do with these rolls? Thank God. Okay. Big roll. Is that enough? I ended the game because I filled my board? That's 10 gold, baby. That's 10 gold. I deleted the three. That was a six-point shift. 
Okay. <laughs> Fortune is not on my side. No matter, you played well. <sighs> Bork has reached old age. I think I need to go back to town. He said he invited people to come up here in Gamba. So we'll have to come back and check that out. We also haven't been to Spore Grotto yet. Um, we have to go to Spore Grotto for sure. My people are getting very hungry. Sweet. <laughs> yes. Leader, all of us loyal followers would love to get together and have a splendid dinner. Do you think you could throw us a feast? How much time do I have? Yeah. Quest failed? Instantly failed? Why? He just gave it to me. What? Why? Chat, you got food. You guys just rolled food. You're gonna all eat today. Be faster next time. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> Too slow. Hardy meat broth. Great leader, would you like to fail a quest? That was a lot of faith. It seems like a bug, but I don't know. They're still hungry. Food does spoil after a while, but if you leave a couple on the ground for them, they'll come eat it eventually. Bad cult leader shaking my head. Shake my head, shaking my head. <laughs> That's an angry bork rat. So keeping you guys alive is going to be difficult. I actually have a necklace I can give one of you to keep you alive at twice the longest. Twice the normal speed. Dude, I want to do this, but I don't have bones. All right, we're going to have to come back. Uh, well, faith is going down. That's not good. Let's go check out the mushroom forest. Maybe it failed because you didn't have the bones? Maybe, but I thought the time limit would be longer. The lighthouse of Pilgrim's Passage is lit once more. Things seem to be changing around here. One of the bishops of the old faith is dead. I didn't think that was possible. Rare decorations all found by our great leader, Glorious Sozo. We sell them to raise money for mushrooms. More mushrooms! We must always have more. I don't have this much gold. But it's cute that you think I can afford it. Cards! 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 Move speed, 30% more night damage. Rolling into an enemy damages them. That's cool. Vice still contributed to the totem. Good for you. Buy a follower for it. Nope. Slap, slap. Greetings, traveler. Me? Why, I'm Sozo, of course. Researcher of all things mushrooms. Guess that makes me a fun guy. Just a little joke Sozo likes to tell. Yes, yes, mushrooms. Mushrooms are Sozo's passion, but Sozo needs more. Sozo always needs more. You will collect for Sozo, yes? Yes. Sozo can't trust my followers out there. They lie, they steal, they whisper secrets about Sozo. I just know it. Sozo will do anything. I'll worship at your altar. Sozo will devote myself to your cause. I'll rip off your head. <laughs> Sozo will show you how to use the power of the mushrooms to open the fragile little minds of your followers. But you do not need to use it on Sozo. Oh, no. Sozo will follow willingly. As long as you keep bringing Sozo mushrooms, Sozo will do anything. Take the path to Anura and find Sozo mushrooms. You may not have seen them before, but now you seek them, they shall be there now. 
Sozo trust you, only you. Everyone else is out to get Sozo, but not you. Sozo loves you. Sozo needs you. What? Are you spying on Sozo? Go away! Come back with mushrooms! Okay then. Well. I want fish, but also... I need to go do the mission. Maybe I'll just collect some devotion and fish next time. 15 doesn't go as far as it used to. Alright, I'll fish twice. I want the super big one. I want the massive unit. Oh, I put it right in front of him and he still didn't get it. I love Sozo. Sozo loves me. All right, now they're not even close. Squid is incredibly valuable, so I'm very happy with that. Chat, I need the fat ones. Ooh. Ooh. There was tuna. Salmon tuna. Alright, let's go. Hello, Yoinky! Wait, Yoinky Oinky? Okay, Yoink Yoink. What's up? You guys subbed 40 minutes ago. Thanks for the 40 minute old sub and wow, 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 wow. Thank you for five months who did exclamation join. I am sorry that I missed you, but I appreciate you. Thanks for subbing. What's going on over here? Yes, I can smell tasty crickets near I stays here. There's enough for you and enough for me. I am Helob, no relation to Shelob. Don't let your followers wander away. You never know who might be nearby and hungry. Yes, you like? I find many of these tasty morsels. I'm too poor, man. God, everybody wants my gold, dude. Fifty gold. I would go back and sell stuff, but I need fifty gold's a lot of money. Bane Sword Four, poisoning enemies. Eh. And this is new. Devastating melee attack that can be charged. Death sweep four. I need to test this at least once. Oh, that kind of charge. Ooh, spicy. Ooh, if you do it, it does it both ways if you do uh, time right. Should have gotten some rejuvenating. I had to test it. I wasn't mentally prepared for this. To be fair, this is a rough first room. Shit. This guy just sucks. I'm already dead. No, I'm not. I got a health back. Chat, my brain is fried. Um, I think I, I think I need to pause in the first room. Because I'm not, I'm not on the top of my game right now. I've been streaming 11 out of 12 days. And I need to go eat dinner. I shouldn't have even started this run. I'll give you one more room. Why did I, why did I agree to this? We're actually in a pretty good spot now. <sighs> okay. I don't know where it saves, actually. 
all progress since I don't know when the last save was. So if it deletes my progress in this dungeon, it doesn't really matter. Wait, when are you allowed to save? Save is blanked. I'm assuming it auto saves, but now I'm afraid. I don't think you can leave the dungeon. All right, I'm just gonna have to trust it. Cause I can't, I just can't do it right now. Whew. Feeling tired and stinky. But also it's been about seven hours. And I'm gonna go get some dinner. Midas is hungry, he's gonna be fed. Um, there will be a stream again before the week is done. We'll be back. I wanna play some more Cult of the Lamb for sure. So I don't know if we're gonna do that tomorrow or Friday. Um. But yeah, definitely going to play more Cult of Land. Probably just do back-to-back -back and do it again tomorrow. Because I feel like just Strike While the Iron is Hot, it's uh, it's been really, really good. Sorry to rip the rug out, but yeah, we had a good sesh today. And uh, got a lot of good stuff taken care of. We're almost done with the second dungeon, because I think we're getting close to the boss of this zone. So that's going to be its own thing. Day off? There's definitely going to be day offs this weekend. Because um, we've been streaming like 11... Like I said, like 11 out of 12 days or more. But I'll, I'll try and hit up some more... I really want to play Farthest Frontier again. Um, you knew it was going to happen, but RimWorld and Kenshi are just bumped. Because the new games this week are both good enough to stream multiple times and quite large in terms of the amount of content there is. I would like to play both Cult of the Lamb and Farthest Frontier again, we, if we can. And then try to, like, actually finish one of them. I don't think Farthest Frontier has more than one stream left, because I want to just get to Tier 3 content, see all the content, and then be like, okay, I'm done for now. So I think that's got one more. Cult of the Lamb really needs some... Like, it's not, like, undoable to finish it in one more stream, it just needs to be a longer stream. Because I think there's like four dungeons plus the finale. And we're almost done with the second dungeon. So. It'll be a little faster too because we kind of know what the gameplay is like. Less story and tutorialization at the beginning. Anyway, before you all go, uh, Lil Pete, thanks for the Cult of the Jeff sub. I appreciate the end of stream sub. Sim was hanging out in here earlier, so why don't we go say hi to him? He's playing. He just started Cult of the Lamb. So why don't we go uh, see how Sim's new run's up? what he's up to. But let's go give him a nice strong raid and give him some love and support. Check him out, give him a follow, and see what the game is like maybe from the beginning if you join late. Good opportunity to see what a, what a start looks like. But yeah, very good game. I'm excited that you guys get to play it soon. I'm glad that the previews we've been doing is not like, a, oh, this game comes out in two months, sorry. It's like, a oh, it comes out tomorrow. So I don't have to feel as bad about playing it before you get to. <laughs> Not that I would. Anyway. But yeah. I'm glad you guys all get to play. And hope you've been enjoying Farthest Frontier if you've been playing that too. But thanks again to Avic for hanging out earlier. Sim for chilling, stopping by. Awesome streamers and good friends of the channel. I'm going to go feed Doggo now. And I will see you for the next one hopefully tomorrow. Probably around like that... 2 to 3 p.m. Pacific time, but subject to change depending on circumstances. Because I woke up today pretty tired, but the new fun games have been very energizing lately. And I'm glad you guys are having fun too. So hope you've been enjoying all the streams. They won't. I won't continue at this breakneck pace forever. But we'll enjoy it while it's here. Okay? Have a good one. Thanks for spending your time with me today. And I'm glad I was able to do you justice by getting a bunch of first tries and only dying once. See you next time.